All right, right now, everyone, come on, Jessica, can you see my screen? If you are listening to this right now and you're not a member of my Facebook group, please go to Facebook, search for the group Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies and search for that group and I will let you in once um, I see you come in. If you're already a member of the group, you know how this goes. If you've been on my webinar before, I need participation tonight. I can see how many people are attending. I'm going to look at the attendance and I'm going to require, you know, X percent of you to participate because tonight we're going to have lots of fun. We're going to do lots of cool things. And tonight I'm going to show you some, you know, really, really cool things that um, a lot of people aren't familiar with and hopefully take you guys to the next level. So let me check this real quick. Nice. So like, once again, if you're listening to this, I want to make sure that you are in our Facebook group. All you have to do is go to Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies, search that group, request to be a member of that group, and I will let you in. Let me refresh it, make sure we have any new members before we get started. Great. Okay. I want to welcome Ben. Welcome Brandon, Portia, Edgar. Thanks for joining us tonight. John Robinson, Charlene Day. Thanks for coming over. Big Jerry Lorette. Jerry, how you doing today, Jerry? Missy, Robert King, Rhonda Harper, and that's it for right now. All right. So as we're going, if you're watching this now, find, come to the Facebook, come to Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies, um, request to be a member of the group, and I'll let you in, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I, I want to appreciate it, and I thank everybody for letting me know that they're on the webinar. I see a lot of people coming in. So like I said, if you're new, to the, if this is your very first webinar, there's a few things I want to make sure that you understand. I need you to to participate. I need to know that you're there. I need to know that you're breathing. I know. I need to know that you're alive. And um, we're going to do a lot of good stuff tonight. So the first, I, there's something I want to go through real quick. Let me pull this up for you real quick. Um, uh, here we go. All right. Tonight, we're here to talk about making easy money. It's like, you know, I'm just joking. There's no such thing as making easy money. But if you if you look at this board game, this, this was actually a board game that was created by Milton Bradley. It was called The Game of Easy Money. Now, you know how, how, how this goes. Anytime you start talking about easy money, people start thinking about schemes, scams, devious, <laughs> scary things, right? And... It's not like that, but there is what we're here to talk about tonight is not really about easy money. And, you know, it's not about money just falling out of the sky and you receiving money. And, you know, there's like a magical money tree or something like that. Although tonight what, we're gonna, what, what I'm going to what I'm going to talk to you about and share with you is that. Is that um, anyone can do this. Everyone can put him in a. Anyone can do what we're talking about. Anyone that can, you know, just follow instructions can do everything we're talking about tonight. Just do not think about this as easy money. So with that being said, there's a few things I want, I want to cover. Um, let me move the screen real quick. Let me drop this real quick. All right. So facts. Any examples, earnings, merchant accounts, income statements, because we're going to show a lot of different things tonight, or um, earnings or income examples are not normal, and you should not take anything in this presentation to mean that you can do it. For a matter of fact, you should probably take that you cannot do it, and what I'm going to be sharing with you, you're not capable of doing it, um, because your success or your lack of success, think about this, your success in using the information or strategy provided um, depends on a variety of different factors. 
I have no way of knowing how well you'll do as I do not know you. I do not know your background. I do not know your worth ethic, work ethic. I do not know your dedication. I do not know your motivation, your desire, your business practice skills. I don't know anything about you. Same thing when I have martial arts students that come to me and like, I don't know if they're going to actually drill what I teach them. I'm not sure if they're actually going to listen to what I, what I preach. If they're going to follow the system. They may come in here and become all obsessed with one of our superstars that came here and followed the system and became a superstar and have great success. And then instead of them following the system that allowed them to get reach their success, they'll follow that person and that person doesn't have the system. Uh, therefore, I do not guarantee or imply that you will get rich uh, or that you will do as well or have as many earnings that of the examples I'm going to share with you tonight. Um, internet businesses and earnings derived from, you know, from, you know, doing internet business have unknown risk and there's, you know, there's, it's not suitable for everybody. Uh, you may not rely on this information presented tonight in this presentation or otherwise pr uh, provided by me unless you do so with the knowledge that you understand that you can experience significant losses, uh, including but not limited to advertising costs, uh, Facebook advertising costs, you know, different things associated with running this type of business. But let me tell you this also. It is a two-way street. And for the people, you know, I'm not going to tell my whole story tonight about the, the 97 percenters and the 3 percenters, but... For the people that are willing to work hard, because tonight when I share with you the results of a hundred plus thousand, I think it's like a hundred and twenty some thousand dollars now. Um, uh, I talked about hundred thirty, hundred thousand dollars three days, and uh, it was hard work. But most people that have a job work all work light years harder than than this gentleman worked to create this hundred thousand six figure his very first launch. And when I say very first launch, and I've talked about being a newbie, when I say a newbie, he was a brand newbie. This was his first ever attempt at doing internet marketing. And a lot of people think that internet marketing, you know, some people are smarter than them. Some people are brighter than them. Some people have access to, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's horrible. And let, let me drop back to the, let me drop back to my, Facebook page. A lot of people talk about, you know, things. I had a, I was on my Facebook fan page and the, a gentleman said something to the fact, I actually deleted it because I was promoting it, marketing it. So I didn't want, you know, people to see that and, you know, have a negative thought process already. But the gentleman basically said that anyone who's claiming to make a hundred thousand dollars in three days is a scam. And the gentleman is a jujitsu guy. Uh, I forgot his name. He's from. He said he was from the Philippines. I invited him to come on to the uh, webinar, and hopefully he's on there. If he is, he will see that he, he's just blabbing his mouth, and he's one hundred percent wrong about what he's talking about. And if he's not, then so be it. But he came on to the came onto my Facebook fan page saying that anyone um, saying that three making a hundred thousand dollars in three days is uh, basically bullshit, and that it can't be done. And how he works this long job, he'd rather just stick with his 401k plan and his retirement, his pension, all this stuff about being an employee. So I went into my conversation about um, the difference between employees and employers. So let me write that down real quick. So let me tell you my story about employees and employers. And if you feel me, like Vicky, my wife, has been watching this uh, this show, Love and Hip Hop, some reality show, and it uh, talks about um, there's one guy that says, "Do you feel me all the time?" We're making a, make, we're making a joke. I guess when Lloyd was walking downstairs uh, and saw it saw it one time, he started saying that, and Vicky doesn't like him saying that, but he, but if you feel me, then. Let me know that you feel me. So this is my story. See, I told the gentleman on my Facebook fan page that there's two different types of people that work out here. One, they're employers, and two, the employees. And there's a great balance because there has to be people like him out here. There has to be people that want to be employees. There, has, you know, it, for people like me that are that are in the employers, there are people that. We need, see, we, as employers, we need 
people that want to, uh, you know, wait for us to pay them. There are people that, that, that want to rely on their 401k plan. There are people that want to just work and think that that's some type of comfort and some type of safety. And for the people that are, one second, this is not posting for me. And the people that are in that situation, that scenario, you know, is good for employers. Let me refresh real quick. I can't see anything. I think I'm frozen. Can you if can you see where I put employer employee? There it is. All right. So, like, employees have this mindset. Like, like making making a hundred thousand dollars in three days is like if I had told him you could make a, a hundred thousand dollars in a day or in, in, in ten minutes or an hour, he probably would have completely freaked out, right? But um, there's people that. Are like this. I mean, I, I, I really messed up as far as being a marketer. I kind of messed up by not doing a screen capture of his of his what what he said because what he said was very instructive, and a lot of people are in the mindset of being an employee. Now, truthfully and honestly, I'm here to try to get people out of the mindset of being an employee and understand that you know. I, for those that have been around me, you know my story about the shit in the concrete, shit in the concrete. And basically what it is, everyone has a bunch of what we call bullshit that's compounded in their in their heads. Like imagine somebody takes your brain, takes your head off, peels your head back, and puts a bunch of bullshit into your head. And then then the, the bullshit con hardens up, and they put concrete on top, and that hardens, and more bullshit, and more concrete, and more bullshit, and more concrete, and it hardens up. And it keeps doing So now you have... Now you have all these layers of bullshit and concrete that are just hardened. And if, you know, it usually starts off at, you know, at a young age. Uh, so if you're 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years, 60 years old, you may have 20, 30, 40, 50 years of bullshit and concrete that come up, right? And if someone doesn't come along and break up the concrete and take out some of the bullshit and break out more concrete and take out some of the bullshit, you're going to be stuck in a world like this gentleman is. See, because tonight I'm gonna to open up the merchant account, I'm gonna open up the CRM, and I'm gonna show you exactly the money. I'm gonna show you like the, the money. Like it's not a game, like this is not a this is not, once again, this is not a get rich quick thing. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a situation where if you are a serious person and are and can follow basic instructions and will do what is said, you can have the type of results that you see tonight. So I, I need a few more comments to make sure I need to make sure everyone follows me what I'm saying with the employee, employee. Because if you're an if you are an employee right now, like I said, I'm not knocking you being an employee, but I'm sure you don't want to be an employee. And if you can possibly get out of get out of a situation of working, you would do it. But like some people just have the employee uh, goggles on and it just feels so safe. So let, let me get a few more comments here on the employee employers. I have about 212 people registered. I mean, that are on, on here right now. I only got about 30 comments. Let me get some more here. Dave Pitt says, you tell that hater being an employee sucks his 401k plan is terrible. Yeah. Like I said, it's not, it's not just about like the 401k plan. I'm telling you like, there's different times, like just being an employee, like, like you know, everyone's heard of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Robert Kiyosaki, and 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 out of the four quadrants, you know, uh, being a self, being an employee, being a self-employed, being a business owner, being an investor, the absolute worst quadrant there is on earth to be in is the E quadrant. And I don't care if you're an E quadrant making a hundred thousand, I don't care if you're making making two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you're still an E. And the higher income, the higher income that you make as an employee, the more demanding the job is, the more the more time freedom that you lose, the more um, uh, of your life is taken away from you. I know people that, that are lawyers that are making you know, 150, 250, 300,000 miles a year, but I mean, they're working and they, they, they miss their kids 
uh, grow up. They, they're, they're not at any games because they're in the courtroom. Uh, doctors making two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars. They're always doing surgeries. Uh, dentists, uh, chiropractors. If you are have your own business, you are a professional. If you're a dentist, high income earner, dentist, you know it's good. But at the same time, for you to make that money, you have to put yourself. You have to be leaning over and cleaning somebody's teeth. You, um, uh, doing cosmetic surgery, whatever you do to make your high income within your practice, you have to do that. And we're talking about, you know, very few, one percent, two percent of the population may get to a point where they have so many practices they have people working for them and they're making a high income. But I'm talking about overall, even if you're an employee, if you ever come to a high income level of being an employee, it's very stressful. It takes away your time, and most people want to get out, but they can't get out because they have this high income. And they usually have a high lifestyle and they're just stuck tonight what i'm talking about is if if you're if you're an employee and you're making six figures like this gentleman said well he makes six figures and he's happy well if you think about it what we're going to talk about tonight and we're going to show you what happened tonight then this gentleman could have done this in three days seven days and next thing you know, he can take off for the next 11 months and three weeks and travel the world and just rinse and repeat. Um, the Does everybody understand what I'm saying about employees? Just let me know you. you let me know that you understand what I'm saying. I'm not knocking being an employee. I'm knocking this the mindset of this gentleman who posted on my Facebook page. Great. All right. So every, every, this is, everyone gets what I'm saying. All right. So now let me tell you about this wonderful world of Internet marketing. This like once again, I feel that Internet marketing is the absolute information marketing is the best business on earth to be in because it'll it affords you one thing and that is time freedom if you would like time freedom let me know right here on on this thing time freedom would you, would you like time freedom and when i say time freedom it's important to understand this a lot of people that do internet marketing information marketing they always get a, a, accused of being a workaholic but the difference between Internet marketers that who are workaholic is one thing. Like we absolutely love what we do. If we are always seen for our computers, it's because we love our work. We like the the idea, the thought, the concept of being able to sit at your laptop and build campaigns. Sit at your laptop and set up autoresponders set write emails that you can generate tens of thousands hundreds of thousands and millions and millions of dollars to me it seems like a, an ideal situation uh if you if you're new to the call and you're just getting on uh please go to facebook because right now we're talking with inside of facebook we're at the facebook group uh search for lloyd Irvin internet marketing for newbies that's lloyd Irvin internet marketing for newbies Ask to join the group and I'll let you in. Let me check. Okay. So time freedom is, is, is a very, very important thing. So for those that those that don't know me, uh, make sure that if you do not have my CD, please go to www tonight's free my free. Let me see if I Go to my free internet DVD. If you do not have my DVD, please go to that sometime tonight when we get off this webinar and pick up my free internet marketing DVD. It shares with you how you can build an online business, uh, goes straight into a lot, lots of detail. And a lot of everyone that's on the vast majority of people that are on this call and on this webinar have received my DVD, and lots of them are already creating products and uh, doing stuff you know, that was taught in here. And the reason, like I said, the reason that I want to share internet marketing with everyone here is because something very simple. Uh, I started internet marketing in 2003. I had my, I had my idea of making multiple streams of income because you know I'm I'm very much into making multiple streams of income. My very first solid uh, 
brick and mortar business was my martial arts school, which I still have today. And I went to an mar- um, internet marketing event and I wanted to learn how to make more money, multiple streams of income. And my goal was to get involved in online marketing and build a six figure a year business, you know, make six, another six figure income stream. And, you know, fast forward, I'm not gonna go into the whole entire story, um, but I went to the event, I sat at the event, and after leaving the event, my very first launch, I did $180,000 on my very first day. Um, I was blown away. So like I said, I did 180,000 on the very first day. What we're gonna talk about tonight is 100 plus thousand dollars in three days. And like his total launch was under six, seven days. And it's like 127,000 thousand dollars. And once again, I will be showing you the money. So don't leave. If you, I told you on my thing, like, like when I talk about anything that I say in my marketing, I'm gonna back up. Anything that I say in my marketing, not only am I, not only am I gonna back it up, I'm going to over deliver on what I'm gonna say. So tonight we're gonna to actually go in we're going to log into this gentleman's account and we're going to see the money that was brought in so you can see exactly the exact number. I don't have the exact number, but, you know, it's very impressive. Uh, it's very exciting. And I want to make sure that you understand that uh, this gentleman, is, there's nothing special. There's no special, you know, it's not thing. And when we talk about special, uh, there's something that was taught to me a long time ago. A lot of people have this concrete and a lot of people have just something that's in them that's keeping them from making that next breakthrough i'm not sure what it is for you but i'll give you some examples some people are in a situation or a scenario where they they've achieved some level of success in something before or some level of success that doesn't equate into making money and now they're too embarrassed to ask for help they're too embarrassed to to let the the world or the public see that they need help and 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 they're just stuck in a way of of, of basically uh faking it and let me ask you do you do you know any fakers do you know any fakers because let me let me tell you the absolute biggest place on earth where you can see the fakers is Facebook. Facebook is the largest playground for people to act. Make sure you understand what I'm saying. For people to act like they're big time, to act like they're a guru, to act like, like I, I know people personally that are out here on Facebook saying that they have money and saying that they're doing this and say they've done that and they have not. And it's kind of a a sad story because you have to fish through all the, the garbage to find real information. You have to find out, uh, you had to go, go through all the people. Like there's, there's a gentleman that has been coming to my mixed martial arts millionaires events. Uh, he's buying all my products, buying all my stuff. And now all of a sudden he's out here uh, promoting that he's a, a, a guru to teach people how to get more students into martial arts school. You know, uh, shortly I'll be sending him a cease and desist uh, and suing him. But that's a whole nother thing. Uh, but just six months ago, 12 months ago, you, you, you're broke and you're about to go out of business. And now you're a guru. But I understand this is just not in my niche. It, it, it is in all niches. And how do you tell the difference? You can't really tell on the Facebook, like 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 you a person can go out and lease a fancy car, a person can go out and uh, you know overextend their credit and take a vacation, take photos, take photos of a vacation spot and, and give the outward appearance, outward appearance that they're doing well. And like I always talk about this, I always I always relate to like, you know, they're like a duck swimming in the water. So the duck, you know, you, if, you, if, you're on, if you're on the land, you look at the duck and the duck looks like it's swimming and it's all smooth. It's just smooth. No, no, you know, no worries in the world. Look to the left, look to the right. And, but if you look under the water with, with goggles, ducks, duck's feet swimming like hell. They're moving. That's paddling, 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 trying to stay afloat. And my, one of my mentors, Dan Kenny, says, said it in a different way. He said that when you're out at sea, no, not just at sea, you're at a beach. And when you're out at the beach, 
you look into the beach water, everyone's having a great time and everyone, you know, everyone's just looking at they have a, just a ball. And then when the tide washes away, you can see, you know, the, you can see people with underwear on, people that are naked, people that don't have shorts on because the tide that was up, that is what Facebook is. See, Facebook, the Facebook front allows people to front. That's the tide. You don't know what's going on. So my first piece of advice tonight is be very, very careful of who you listen to. In my, in my, um, internet marketing group, I see people popping in, popping out. I, I watch people um, talking about different things and it's kind of scary who they listen to. Like, like quickly and easily you have, you have people that are non-qualified, non-qualified giving advice. And when people are non-qualified giving advice and you're listening to them, thinking that they're qualified, it leads you down to a, a, a very um, bad strip. And like I said, Tonight, I'm going to be very transparent with you. Uh, I've been doing internet marketing since 2003. I made my first million dollars in the first year. I made, like I said, my very first launch was $180,000 the very first day. Um, I've gone on and made millions and millions of dollars. I've had a, a $1.7 million day. Um, like so, so for me, if I go out here and tell the truth, the sad, the sad part about this is if I go out here and tell the truth about what I've done, I'm accused as a liar. I'm accused as a scam artist. I'm accused of all these things. Now, now I have a student, someone that I taught, do something very remarkable. One hundred eighty, no, one hundred plus thousand dollars in three days. And like I said, I'll show you the. I'll, I'll go into the account tonight and show you the exact total. And he was a brand newbie, never done it before. So it's. Like, and that, and now he, like the guy, like I said, the guy on my Facebook page said that that's impossible. How is this impossible? Like, like I know people that are doing millions and millions a month, you know, on online internet marketing. And that's just one, you know, just different thing. I, matter of fact, I may go into one of my accounts tonight and show you one of my accounts just because I, I need to, tonight, I need to be the person that goes and takes the concrete out of your brain and take out some of the bullshit. And if I can do that tonight for one person here, then I feel that I've done my job because internet marketing, internet marketing changed my life. Like to my, don't don't get me wrong, my martial arts school is a million dollar plus martial arts school. It's doing very well. It's very successful. But I have a I have a saying, and if you watch, hopefully you watch my internet marketing uh, multiple streams of income thing where I said. No matter what you're doing, the worst number in business is one. Let me make sure I got some, some of my loyal followers here. The worst. If you have heard me say this before from my mentor, Dan King, let me know here real, real quick. Because it's what I'm going to talk about tonight is very important. And like I said, when I share, when I open up this his bank account, I mean, his uh, merchant account and show you, um, it's going to bring things to reality. So if you've heard me talk about the worst number of business is one, please let me know it. Uh, if you have not, like Evan said, what does that mean? So this is what we, this is what, this is what it means, Evan. The worst number in business is one, one key employee, one key income stream, one key um, uh, accountant, one key, one, one key of anything. So like, I'll give you one example. I have a friend, uh, a very good friend, close friend, has been a close friend of, to me for probably 20 plus years. Okay. And he is a very experienced network marketer. Right. So whether you like network marketing or whether you don't like network marketing, network marketing is a very viable uh, uh, income stream for you to put into your income stream. Some people think it's scam. Some people don't think, it, but it's a, it's a, I, I'm involved in network marketing. It's a, it's a, it's a good thing. But anyway, so my, my buddy is like a, a network marketing lifer. So in his model, he basically builds up to the top. He, he built up to the top of one organization probably like 20 plus years ago. And then the company just cut his money. And it wasn't cut his money. Like he, he was doing like $150,000, $200,000 a month with a company. And they, when they cut him, they cut him to like $75,000 a month. And you may not think $75,000 a month is like a, a little bit. But trust me, if you're making $200,000 a month, 
or $150,000 a month, and all of a sudden in a 90-day period, you get cut to $75,000, it is life altering, especially if you if you upped your lifestyle to that, all right? So basically, he took him and his entire organization, he went to another company, another company guaranteed him this and that, and he moved to that company, was with that company for maybe four or five years, and, and he's basically uh, company hopping, right? Um, but he doesn't want to, but understand this, it's, it's business. And so when a network marketing company does no longer wants to uh, pay their commissions or network marketing company no longer wants to uh, have the network marketing leg of them, or if the network marketing company, if their product that they're delivering becomes obsolete. So like in network marketing, there's a, a, a like, like the product side, you know, the, like Amway, Herbalife that sell nutrition supplements, products that you ingest or wear. Then you have the te technological side, people like... Um, uh, they have technologies like uh, the, um, like text messaging, um, video, online video, um, like anything you can think about that's technological. And the problem with that, those are that because technology gets out of date. And when technology gets out of date, if that network marketing company built their entire business on um, a technology that is now out of date, now they have to figure out what else they're going to sell and, or go into other markets. And so if that happens, if you, you could be making $100,000, $200,000 a month, and all of a sudden your technology is out of, out, of, out of whack and the product go down. Or the same thing, like, like say, for example, like Herbalife. Herbal, you have Herbalife, you have Amway on the product side. If you have, like everyone's looking for the next thing that's going to make them lose weight. So if Herbalife is this and Amway has this and Metaluca has this and all of a sudden, you know, there's always a new company. That, there's always new um, competition coming to the marketplace, trying to take out the portion of your uh, your market. And so anyway, back to my story with the worst number of businesses won. So now my buddy's income just got cut again. It's not really cut. It's going down to a point that he has to move to the next company and he can't find another company right now. And it's a little, it's, it's a little stressful. But in his world, he's been doing it 20 years, doesn't have another job. But his problem is the worst number in business is one. And his one income, what, what, what do you think is one income stream is? What is his one income stream? Tell me what you think his one income stream is. Network marketing. You got it, right? So his problem is that, like, he's still okay. Like, you know, he's made a lot of money. But the thing is, like, what happens when that, if one of his companies went out of business? Or what if he needed to get to another company and he couldn't make a good deal? Or he couldn't get to another company? What would happen then? Well, what would happen, he would be in a, in a bind. But he's in a bind because he didn't follow the principle of the worst number of businesses won. So while you're building your income stream, no matter, no matter how big it is. And I tell this, people, tell this to people all of the time. No matter how big your income stream is it does not matter because because of any new ruling any new governmental interference i tell the same story i'm gonna tell the story again if you heard like bear with me but it's very important for people to hear i had a buddy 10 million 12 million dollar a year buddy and his entire business was balling i mean he had, he had boats and yachts i'm not yeah boats and and jets and like castles and you know security all kind of crazy stuff and but he, it was all off his one business and not only one business, he had one way to generate new customers and prospects, which was fax broadcasting. And in one fail swoop, the FTC came in and said that at, from this point on, uh, fax broadcasting is illegal. And, and don't quote me on this, but I think it was like ten to $15,000 fine per per illegal fax. And he's sending out millions of faxes per month. So he was out of business. He lost his entire business, lost his planes, lost his boats, lost his, his, his uh, house. He lost everything. Lived back with his parents. Now he's coming back up, you know, like, you know, a little new business, but nothing like his old business. But it still came back down to this one single concept of the worst number in business is one. Now think about this. If you are, wherever you are in your life right now, if your main income stream is one income stream, you are breaking the rule that I'm teaching right now, and your goal is to fight like your life depended on it because it does 
to find another income stream. We're not, I'm not ever telling you to get out of whatever your income stream is that you're doing now as long as you're happy. If you're happy with it, fine. But you better, you better work on getting another income stream because if that day ever comes to you, you are going to, you can, you can be homeless. I mean, I'm not sure if you got family in the area, you can move back with them. But if that income stream is taken from you, what are you going to do? All right. So it's very important. And like I said, the reason I want to share with the internet marketing is this is my very first time ever. Like I have an event coming up October 25th through 28th in Washington, D.C. at the LaFont Plaza. Um, I'm super excited about it. People have been begging me for the last seven, eight, nine years to do an event. And the only reason I'm doing the event is this. I'm sick and tired of seeing people that want to get involved and create a second income stream with internet marketing um, and be led astray. And when I say be led astray is this, there are a lot of internet marketing events out right now and you can go online, search them. You probably, you probably been to some, but what happens is this at the mass majority of internet marketing events, they are marketing towards and are beneficial to people like me or people that already have online businesses and already running online businesses and already have some level of success with online business. So we can come there, learn a new trick, a new strategy, a new tactic, and then take our business to the next level. It is not designed for a person like me and like I was in 19, I'm sorry, 2003, when I wanted to create a secondary income online. See, I didn't know anything about an autoresponder. I didn't know anything about uh, how to do email marketing. I didn't know anything about cross testing. I didn't know anything about split testing. I didn't know about vari variant tests. I didn't know anything about, I didn't know what Taguchi testing was. I didn't know about how to flip out, flip flop landing pages. Like, let me give you a quick example. A lot of people say they're internet marketers nowadays and and have websites, but if if you don't test your website against each other every single day, you have absolutely no idea what's happening. So like split test, let me write this real quick for you. All right, so my question is, if you have a website, don't answer don't answer this question until I, I answer it fully or ask it fully. If you have a website, do you split test your website on an ongoing basis? Meaning this, whatever your website has on it right now, you, that's your control. And you have one to 50 different variations that you're always testing it on an ongoing basis, on a daily basis, you're going out killing the loser and, and, and moving the winning test to the control. Yes or no? Be honest, please. And this can be very instructive. <laughs> Ali said, I don't, I don't even know what that question means. All right, so I, I want keep answering, but I, I want everyone to look at the screen right now because what you're gonna see is the mass majority of the answers are no. I'm going to keep on scrolling down. I got Nolan Williams got yes. I got one yes. Keep the, answers, keep the answers coming because remember, look at the screen because the answers are very instructive. While they're answering that question, if you're new to the call, please, we're, we're, we're talking in, the, uh, in my group, go to Facebook and type in, search for Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. Lloyd Irvin's Internet Marketing for Newbies. Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. Keep the keep the answer coming. So right now I have basically I have about two yeses. Let me let me get a few more answers here. If you're new, also new, I said we're in my Facebook group right now, and I um need participation. I need everybody to, you know to participate so I can see exactly what's going on, so I know 
what level to talk on, where we're going on. And, but this is what I'm looking for. I see Shane Mount. My Shane said, I don't even know where to start. What is real, the real definition of internet marketing? What are you marketing? I'm lost. Find me, Max Lloyd. So I'm going to check and make sure everyone's in. Um, if you do not have my DVD, you need to make sure you get my free DVD at www.myfreeinternetdvd.com. I see you, Big Dave. Dave is old school. Myfreeinternetdvd.com. You get my free DVD, and it, it'll, it'll give you a, a good rundown, help you get started. All right. So, nine, I would probably say 98% of the population here has no idea what about testing, and they're not testing. So, let me check and make sure I see how many new people come in. All right. So, like I said, if you're new to the group, make sure you search for Lloyd Urban Internet Marketing for newbies. All right. So, like I said, please don't be embarrassed. And I want to thank everyone for uh, being honest here. So, let me tell you what split testing is. So, if you have a notepad, write this down. Split testing is when you have multiple variations of a particular website. So, right now, what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just for example purposes, I'll only, I'll use the number two. But when I say split test, I have I have like fifty different uh, split tests. So let, let me let's let's go to another website. I'm gonna show you something. So all right. So this is my myfreeinternetdvd.com. So this is where you can pick up my free internet DVD. But I, I brought you here to to sh to share something with you. Specifically, okay. So now let's look at this this CD right here. This CD says revealed how you can generate five hundred to a thousand dollars a day online in less than seventy two hours selling information. So the reason that I'm showing you this, this right now is anyone that came and got my free CD in the very beginning, you remember that my DVD said. Uh, revealed how I generated a million dollars in a single day and how you can make five to fifty thousand um, dollars a year. I mean, 50, 50, 50, 50, five to fifty thousand dollars a month online. So let me go, let me come back to let me come back here. Whoa, wait, before you go, take some time to look at these exclusive bonuses right here on the screen. All you have to do is enter your name and your email in the box, and these money-making bonuses are yours. Fill out your information, and I'll take you to the other side, where I can tell you much more about this free DVD. All right, so when I when I had that DVD, I, I actually came onto this Facebook group, and you guys, I'm trying to try see if anyone's on here, you guys and ladies helped me come up and create different DVD titles, different DVD variations. And what I did was I actually created 50 different uh, variations of this, uh, let me see, of this DVD. So I have 50 different variations of this DVD. Some say 50 to $100 a day, some say 100 to $200 a day, 100 to $300 a day. Um, uh, and I'm testing different things because what happened was when I, when I talk about making a million dollars in a single day, making $1.7 million in a single day. If you think that a person would scream scam and impossible uh, doing $100,000 in three days, what do you think would happen to a million dollars a day? So I, 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 I wanted to test different headlines, different topics to see what would pull best. And right now this here is out pulling all of them. And I, I think that it was- um, Oh, wait, it was, before you go. Take some time to look at these exclusive bonuses right here on the screen. The winning, All you have to do is enter your name and your email in the box, and these money-making bonuses are yours. Fill out your information, and I'll take it to the other so side. If you participated in that contest where we created DVD. the different headlines for DVDs, let me know right here. Put put your information right here so everyone can see that what I'm talking about is the truth. I'm being very transparent here because I want y'all to be a part of what I'm doing. I wanted y'all to be a part and experience exactly what I was doing. And I actually took people that, you know, the different topics. I didn't care if, it, if I thought it was good or not. Everyone that participated in my Facebook group here, I took theirs. I sent it to my graphic artist. He created the thing. I created 50 different DVD offers. 
I put the DVD on, I created 50 new landing pages, and now I have a program that just rotates the pages. So say, if, just for example purposes, if I have 50 pages, then the visitor one sees page A, next visitor sees page B, next pa visitor page C, and then it keeps, ro keeps rotating A, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They'll keep going all around, over and over and over and over again, and then it will track it. So then, so say for example, after 200 people, I'm, let me scale it back down. We have two different pages, two different variations. I have about, after every 100 people, for, for this example, I usually do a test of 2,000 of visitors, but after every 100 people, it will show 50 version A, it will show 50 version B. And then at the end of the 100 person test, we have what we call um, results. So right now, on my free DVD page, the action that I want people to take is this. I want them to give me their name and email address. If they give me their name and email address, I call it a conversion. So right now, everything that we're talking about is traffic plus conversion Traffic plus conversion equals money, okay? So now I, my job is to go out here and get conversions. So right now I need to find out what converts better. Does making a million dollars a day convert better than making 500 to to $1,000 in a day make, um, uh, convert better? But for me, if if someone who's a legit person, somebody who's real, and he's making a million dollars in a day, and he's making hundreds of hundreds of thousand dollars, like that moves me. See, fifty dollars to a thousand dollars a day is not going to move me at all. So, but it, I have different goggles on. I have different interests. I have different things I'm trying to accomplish. And the mass majority of population, fifty. I'm sorry, five hundred to a thousand dollars a day. I guess clearly works it because what I was talking about. Five thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month. Uh, I thought that was going to be the winner. And why making five hundred to a thousand dollars a day will will beat making five thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month is beyond me. But it's not about me. It's about the customer. It's about the prospect, and it's about the money. And if you don't have any conversions, if you, like no matter what your business is, whether you are a brick and mortar business, whether you're a doctor, lawyer, whether you're a martial arts school like me, whether you have a carpet cleaning, whether you're a dentist, whether you're a network marketer, no matter what you are, if you don't have a fresh group of new prospects that are coming in and you're communicating with them and they're and they've already let you know that they're interested and what you have to offer, then you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard problem. You're out here prospecting. See, what we wanna do, I wanna talk to people that are interested in what I'm doing. So what I do is this. So on my website, I have an offer. Right now my offer for this, and I'm taking you guys through this because you've all been through it or you should be through it. If you haven't requested this free DVD, you should go through it because it's very instructive what's on the DVD. Um, you have to pay seven, you have to pay seven dollars ninety five cents for shipping and handling, but like I said, the DVD is free. And what's on it is 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 very valuable, very extremely valuable information. But anyway, so right now I'll show you what one test was. So this right here says was transformed um a loan from his mom and a silly idea into a multi-million dollar business. So that and this is red, and then I have another test where it's blue. I have another test where it's uh black with a uh, highlight and I have another test that where it's red with highlight and then blue highlight. And then I have all the different tests with the different variations of the DVD. And right now this is my winner. So I, this is set, this is my winner. So red changing this to red gave me like a 7% bump in conversion. And although the number 7% doesn't seem like a lot, if it doesn't seem like a lot, it is massive. Like, I mean, when I say massive, I mean massive. Like, so if just think about this, if if every every hundred visitors that came to your website 
seven percent of seven percent of them is seven new visitors and so every hundred people that come to your website you lose seven seven of them and depending on what your price what your conversion for selling your product is and what your price point is i mean that can end up being a lot of money if you have a thousand people come to your website you have ten thousand people come to your website you have a, a you have a if you have a hundred thousand people come to your website a month and you convert seven percent of them I mean that's seven thousand new prospects or, or and or new sales that you would not have had, and and if you're not testing your websites, what are you doing? Like so, if I if I threw up this website with my make a million dollars in a day, uh, discover how I made a million dollars in a day, and you can make up to fifty to hundred. I'm sorry, five thousand to fifty thousand dollars in a month. If I just say, all right, that's that's what I think works. That's what I like the best. I put that up when I first started, started out, this was blue and it ended up being that, that being blue was the absolute worst convert. I mean, my conversion, was like 12% and I, and, and I was, I was getting a lot of people, but 12% right now, this page right here, I took it from being at a thing that started out in the seven, 8% and now it's converting at like 26.4%. I mean, 26.4% compared to seven, 8% is a huge, massive life changing monetary uh, difference. But, back to the the point at hand if i was not changing this from blue to red to to i may i may test green too just to test it uh bold if i was not testing the different headlines i would have been stuck with my low Whoa, converting wait, before you um, go take some website. time to look at these exclusive and that's not bonuses what I want. right here so on the screen. now everyone that all you have to do is enter your name and your email in the back box down here and these money making that, bonuses are yours Fill out your information and I'll take you to the other side test. where I can tell you much more What's about the free DVD. Is, um, if you're not running split tests on your website, then you have absolutely no idea what is going on with your website. And the good news is this. If you have a website and you're making money, if you have a website and you're converting um, prospects, if you have a website and you know, you're happy with the results, then you have a massive 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 improvement that you can do and you should be really excited about this if you don't even have a website yet don't worry about this because you are light years ahead of everyone else because there's some people on here that have been on here for years uh and have been have have had websites for years and just have no idea what we're talking about right so i'm gonna make sure i'm not you know i have a my wife says i have a tendency to talk techno geeko stuff but this is not this is important the two most important things on online business is traffic and conversion of course we can sprout out and go into other areas but knowing how to get traffic and knowing what to do with that traffic and then converting it so um let me ask you a question real quick Let me know if you if y'all had y'all saw any value in my rant about testing websites because if you didn't I, I won't even go into that type of stuff anymore but if you did let me know because it's very valuable and when I say valuable I mean very valuable right now think about this if if you can test your website and you can get a fifty percent bump uh, in traffic and then you're gonna you're gonna like without even getting technical you're gonna get a fifty percent income. Uh, rate you're gonna get a 50 percent raise who here would like to get a give themselves a 50 percent raise uh in money 50 percent raise in leads uh it is a thing that you should passion like like very few things in my business do i do personally i outsource everything i have, I have employees that do lots of stuff for me but the conversion and tracking of my websites i do myself um and if you think about it, it's really easy and it's really fun because like I said, if you if you have not been participating in my Facebook fan page group, uh, I highly recommend that you do it because I'm doing different cool things. Also, while while I'm saying right here, if I have um, Eileen here, Eileen is the personal concierge for uh, my internet event. It's called the Internet Marketing Blueprint Event for Newbies. And when I say newbies, I say anyone who's making $150,000 or less online, this is definitely for you. I have my, my good buddy, Dagan Smith. Dagan's going to be coming to my event. 
Uh, he actually paid for it. I, I saw his, uh, his name come through. Uh, he's come to my event. You know, he's doing multiple, you know, millions of dollars online. Um, he's coming to the event because the event's geared for 100% for a newbie, someone that has never, ever, ever made a, a single penny on the line, someone that has absolutely no clue about what to do online, no clue about how to build or get a website. And let me let me say this too, just so y'all know, if there is any malfunction on this webinar tonight, if there's any malfunction on any of my websites and it, it, it is left to me to fix it, it will not be fixed. I do not know how to do it. I do not know how to do build websites. I don't know how to build a WordPress blog. I don't know how to do anything. I outsource it, which brings me to my next topic, which I always teach and it's very important that you, that you get this. There are some things that you just have to do in internet marketing, you know, in your life, whatever it is. But the thing that I teach everyone who's connected to me, everyone that comes to any of my events, the most important thing that you have to do is this. Anything that you have to do, you either have to do it yourself or you have to pay someone else to do it or you have to make someone else do it. But it cannot not be done. It cannot not be done. And you, when it comes down to who does not do these things, it is losers. And if you want to be a consider a loser and have me call you a loser, and, and, and if, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But I have this whole winning and success and making it because right now I'm 43 years old. 10 years, 53, 63, 73, 80, 40 years, 83. Like what? how much money you make right now, how much money I make right now has absolutely nothing to do with how much money I'll be making in 30 years, 20 years, 40 years. One of the biggest, most feared things amongst Americans, it was in the USA Today. It said, America, the greatest fear is running out of money during retirement. So no matter how much money you're making now, if you're like younger guy, 20, 30 years old, you may not feel it like me, but what are you going to do when you're in 20 30, 40 years, if something happens, are you, are you doing right now or building the skill set right now or gaining the specialized knowledge right now that will guarantee that no matter when in your life, see, I'm like, if I lose my martial arts school, my building clothes, it burns down, like no matter what, as long as I can get access to the internet, I have a special, I have specialized knowledge. I have a skill set that I can come back. I could go bankrupt today. I can lose everything I do. I may have to move my mom's parents' house and be embarrassing and, and everybody be laughing at you. All the haters that come out out of the woodwork, but it'll be fine because trust me, I will be back. All I need is an internet connection and, uh, and, and uh, uh, somebody knows I put up a website. <laughs> but I'm serious. I, I'm laughing, but I'm, I'm dead serious. And, and I'm saying this just because everyone has a good guy on one shoulder and a bad guy on the other shoulder. And the good guy's always always the good guy's always supportive. The good guy's always saying, Yeah, Lloyd, you can do it. Yeah, you can do this. And and the bad guy's always, oh, you can't do that. Oh, there's no way you can do that. Oh, they did that, but you can't do that. You're a loser, loser, loser. And the bad guy is always trying to take you down. Like, let me let me make sure I'm not sounding like a crazy man here. Do any of you have a bad guy that speaks to you sometimes? Let me know. And be like I said, y'all been honest all night tonight. So be honest here. Let me make sure this comes in. I have it still. I've had it all my life. You know, I learned. I've learned to fight it, and you know, I've attached myself to mentors that help me fight it. But it's there. And the reason I share this with you because some people say, "Well, well, Lloyd can do that because he's a techie. Lloyd can do that because." He can put up a website. Listen, no, I cannot. If like if, if my life depended on if my life depended on putting up a website and I could not, you know, I could not use anyone else, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna to go to the library, I'm gonna go online, I'm gonna to have to learn to do it. But it comes back to the same thing. If something needs to be done, either I have to do it or someone else has to do it. Let me po pause for one second. My internet connection is super slow. Well, I'm gonna move on. So, um, so now we have lots of skeptics. We have lots of people that are naysayers. 
And, you know, these people we want to try to keep away from us as long as possible. And if they're around, there it is. All right. So let's answer this question just so I can make sure. Do any of you have uh, have a bad guy that speaks to you sometimes, you know, that, 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 that tells you uh, you can't do it or, or tries to persuade you from doing something? Just let me know. Uh, great. All right. So I'm not, I'm not crazy. Keep it coming. I got David Valea, Daryl, Jeff Wants, Jeff, Jeff Rogers. All right, all right. So lots of people. Now, before I move on and we and we get forward to get ready to go look at some money and talk about some good stuff here, um, something that's even bigger, something that's even more important and more contagious is you know negative people around yourself. You know, like everyone's heard. It. Everyone, you know, if you're on my Facebook, you see the haters I have, and I love it. Like understand this. I am immune to criticism. There's nothing anyone can say that can bother me. It just, I mean, it can be racial. It can be, it, it can be anything. I am immune to criticism, but I was not always immune to criticism. I used to take a lot of the emails. I used to get back. I used to take a lot of messages to heart and, and it bothered me. And, but now I'm, I fully understand what it is. And, and, and like I said, before, I, before we go into this launch and what David did, uh, this, I always say this, this is far more important than the actual technical knowledge because getting traffic and converting traffic conceptually is the easy part. Once you learn it and once you follow the system, getting over the criticism, the, uh, being, becoming immune to criticism is actually the difficult part. And when I say difficult part is, I mean, because it's one thing coming from people you don't know. But when it starts coming from your friends, it starts coming from your family. Like I said, I have personal friends that, you know, that because I want to loan them money or pay their house note or pay their car note and stuff like that, that I've changed somehow. We, you know, we grew up together with 20, 30 year friends, but now I won't pay your house note. Like, no, I'm not paying your house note. Come on. Like, what, what are you talking about? Oh, you changed, Lord. You changed. Um, let me add, let me make sure. Do you have any friends or family that try to bring you down in your attempt to do something new like internet marketing? Like right now, how many of you guys, you know, if you uh, decide to do internet marketing, you told your friends or family uh, that they're, oh, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Just stick to your job, blah, 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 blah. Stephen Whittier said, yeah, like, oh, good. Marcy. Jeff Baldwin said, yes, family is worse. Yes, they are. Family is absolutely the worst. Jose said, not yet. And that that's rare. Like, look at there. Jose Villarisco said, "Not yet." He's the he's the only one that uh said no so far, which is a great thing. I mean, he's surrounded by good people, supportive people. Keep them coming. Keep the answers coming. Daniel Sullivan said they gave gave up on trying to tell him what to do. Jared, they don't hang with me anymore. Carolyn, yep, I told her yep. she was negative. Explained to her now she's convinced and wants to learn. <laughs> That's what happens, Carolyn. John Ramirez said he don't talk to me anymore. Mitchell has a very supportive family. That's a great thing to have because I'm saying like when we talk about, you know, the wife, the wife can be the wife or the husband, you know, the spouse can be the absolute worst one because they, if they're not supportive and you're trying to do something, you know, it puts you in a whole different, a whole different realm, which is not a good thing. Travis took. I don't have those friends anymore. Like me, the Travis. I got rid of them. I still have. I still have one that bothers me. But I love him to death. Uh, I just saw his brother today. Uh, but I love him to death, and you know he's always around, but always giving me problems. But um, it, it comes down to money. So let me let me tell you this before we go. I'm about, we're about to 
about to move into the part where I'm going to you know, show you some different things about this launch that we that we, I've been talking about and you've been hearing about a lot. And um, if you get involved in internet marketing and you start making money, there's going to be a lot of different things that are going to going to change in your life, your mindset. And there's going to be things that um, there's going to be things that you're going to experience. Uh, and if you and if you've already if you already make a lot of money doing something else, whatever your income stream is right now, you probably already been through it. But um, there's there's a there's a thing going on, you know, like and hopefully you don't have to go through it. But there's usually a, a progression, you know, most everyone that I know that their first major income stream was created through um, network mark, not network marketing, uh, Internet marketing. It was, um, you know, they all went through the same thing. So first you start making a lot of money. And you start making a lot of money, then you want to do a lot of different things. And the different things are usually you want to start buying toys. So like um, cars, I, like I said, me personally, I've had probably three or four Range Rovers, um, custom made Aston Martin, uh, like, I mean, lots of cars, flying private uh, Jaguars, like, I mean, just, just crazy stuff like uh Private jets. Uh, you know, I went through a phase. Uh, no matter where I go, I uh, had to ride first class. Now I, I, I can ride a coach. I don't care. But a lot of people do different. You know, do things for different reasons. And you know, living the whole you know the rock star life, like the internet market is like the life star, rock star lifestyle because you don't have a brick and mortar business. All you need is a laptop. All you need is an uh, internet connection. You can go anywhere in the world. I know. I, I have a friend who actually. Uh, has two houses in two different continents, and he basically lives um, here for six months a year, then goes over and lives somewhere else for six months a year. Um, they don't even have like you know internet within their house. He has to go to the internet cafe there. Um, but like I said, internet marketing is the perfect lifestyle. So just so I can get a gauge of why you guys here, let me see what you're. Why do you want to get involved in? Now, 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 I'm going to ask you the question. Why do you want to get involved in internet marketing? Be truthful because if it's because you want a yacht or if it's because you want to buy like a, um, a, a Rolls Royce or, you know, if you want to buy a jet or fly private or, you know, you know, put your child in private school. If you just want to travel the world, like, you know, let me know exactly what it is. And you can be wild. Because some a lot of people say, well, I also want I want to be debt free. But like, if, if you have debt like thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars, you just knock that off. Like, imagine that's knocked off. Like, what what would you do? And and don't be embarrassed if you if you go buy some crazy cars or like do something crazy. Depending on where you are in your life. Kevin said, I want to be a baller like you. <laughs> Sean Bodil is my man. He knows what the deal is. Nolan Williams wanted to jet set around the world. That was one of my reasons too, Nolan. Very nice, Gloria. Robert King wants to buy a new home. Nice. John wants to tie to his church, pay off his bills. Manny Branca said, always wanted the bins. I always wanted the bins too. And um, actually, I, I wanted a Lamborghini, Manny. And um, when I first started like doing really well in the internet marketing, and I I, I, want, I was going to buy an exotic car, uh, one of my buddies, um, Yannick Silver, he's an internet marketer too. He had just bought a, 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 a um, an Aston Martin, and I went to the Aston Martin dealership, and they went took me through the process and told me how they're going to build the car and engrave the name in my in the engine and put my own name inside the door. Um, it, it had a nice presentation and it, and it took like six months for the car to get built. And it was like custom built. 
and uh, it kind of got me off because I, I got I wanted a Lamborghini. I used to watch Cannonball Run all the time, with, um, uh, and I was a Cannonball Run head. And I always said, if I ever make it, I'm gonna get a Lamborghini. So uh, I went to the Lamborghini dealership, and I walked in. I had my, my jeans and my Timbos on, and, and I, I got kind of ignored. I sat around 30, 40 minutes, no one trying to help me. I was looking around, and a guy came over to um, talk to me about a car, and was kind of snobby, and um, he was like. Uh, I said, I'm interested in looking at a Lamborghini. And he said that, uh, that, um, uh, have you, have you talked to, have you, have you, have you, what do you say? Something to the effect of like, are you sure that you can get financing? Like that, that, that's, that's the first thing he said out of my mouth, out, out of his mouth. And I was like, um, no, I don't need financing. I'm, I'm paying all cash. And then, and then you should, you should have seen his face. And I, granted I had jeans on and Timberland boots and, you know, the, my trademark Lloyd Irvin t-shirt, martial arts school t-shirt. So I didn't look like I had any money or the, or the part, but um, it gave me a bad feeling. So I said, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go somewhere else. And then that's when I heard about the Aston Martin. Now I saw it in James Bond. I said, let me go to the Aston Martin dealership. And um, same thing, jeans, Timberlands and t-shirt. And I walked in and they came over and they asked me, they need help and gave me like, water coffee sprite coke what do you like and you know much nicer experience so anyway i ended up buying an aston martin um and then um went from there got to uh, range rovers and went from there so like i said i have a i drive a benz now but i'm actually going to buy a pickup truck and start driving a pickup truck i think i'm gonna get rid of the benz the home invasion like I, I always have some weird, tricky, suspicious stuff happening when I'm driving around. I think I'm just going to get into a pickup truck and a, a nice pickup truck, but drive that pickup truck around. Keep them coming. I, know I, I need some more comments. I have a lot of people on here. All above. Jake. Quit dentistry. De uh, nice. I have a dentist here that says quit dentistry. Pay the bills. Autonomy. Okay. So... You have to figure out like what's your why, and and a lot of people it'll it'll change because like I said at one point it was about flying around the world like like I want like I used to watch this like Lifestyles Rich and Famous and there was a TV show like the um it was a TV show that talked about the top ten count the countdown of the top ten travel spots in the world so I used to watch this show all the time and I said I'm I'm gonna go to all the spots and uh, I think I went to probably. I went to almost all of them. The last one I went on the list was a Saint Tropez it's in the south of France. It was a crazy. We were, me and my wife were there, was partying, 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 like man. But like it was like we were there like five days, it was like twenty, thirty, forty thousand bucks spent. It was like crazy. Um, but after that, I got off that, and now I'm just you know, I have different reasons. I have different things I want to do. Like I want to get like I'm giving back to the guys that do jujitsu. I want to help them reach their goals. I, you know, stuff we have to do with my son. Yeah, different reasons. So whatever your reasons are, like I said, don't lock into those reasons, but don't don't not do them because with internet marketing and information marketing, you're able to, you know, basically do whatever you want. Um, but like I said, I want to make sure it's 100% clear that it is not a get rich quick scheme. It is not a get rich quick thing. You have to do some work, but the great thing about it is you don't have to do all the work at all. Um, and it has absolutely nothing to do with how smart you are. See, one thing that I, that I thought when I was coming up and I had this concrete and bullshit in my head, one of the things that I thought about or was led to believe was that to make a lot of money, you have to be really smart. And I'm not like a dumb guy, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't graduate with 4.0 out of high school. I don't have 4.0 in, in college. Uh, actually, my first year at college, I think it was 1.66 or, or 0.66. I basically dropped a lot of classes, got a bunch of D's and E's at Hampton University. Um, I graduated with maybe 2.6, 2.5, so nothing special. Um, but as I got involved in internet marketing, as I started climbing this whole information marketing world, um, for those that are watching the internet work, marketing world, you know, like the level I'm at um, in the internet marketing world. But as I started getting around these different people in the information marketing world, um, getting involved with Dan Kennedy, uh, all the you know top internet marketers that, that most people know about, like being my personal friends. One thing that I discovered is that this, the mass majority of them are not what most people would, would um, declare to be smart. Uh, matter of fact, most of them, are downright lazy 
when we talk about internet marketing sense. And like I said, I always call myself lazy. Uh, people say, oh, you're not lazy. You're always working. You're always doing this. You're always doing that. Yeah, well, I'm lazy for me, like what I want to do. But every, for every area that I'm lazy in, I hire someone to do that job. Because like I said before, when something needs to be done, either you have to do it or someone else has to do it. But it cannot not be done. So I'm about to wrap up my talk right here and I'm about to go into this money, but I, I want to I I close just on this right now. What I'm about to talk about and what we're going to go into and what we're going to show you is that of a pure internet marketing newbie, of a pure person that has absolutely had, to, had never made a single dot penny online. And I want to, I, I challenge you to fight your negative person that attempts to tell you anything negative while I'm talking to this gentleman. Um, because if you allow the negative person to, 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 to tell you what's real, um, you're going to do yourself damage. And I, I promise you all this internet marketing has the power to change anyone's life. And once again, I'll say, that, I don't care how much money you're making right now, because I don't know of any, job, I don't know of any any activity that generates as much money and gives you as enough free time as possible. I know people that are making two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars doing their thing, but I mean two hundred, three hundred thousand a month doing their thing, but they have to get on the road and they have to tra travel. And when they travel, if they don't travel, they they won't keep their money. And with internet marketing, you can do 200, 300,000 a month and um, not travel. I mean, you can sit in your basement. You can be wherever you, you're not, you're not, you're not required to do anything. And that is a very, very good place to be in your life. And say, for example, if you're 20 years old, you're 30 years old and you really like traveling. So the thing that you do right now has you traveling all over the world and traveling all over the country doing your thing. And it may seem cool now, but trust and believe what I'm about to tell you right now. At some point in your life, you are going to get sick and tired of that travel. I have friends that don't have families, don't have kids or anything yet, and they're traveling around doing things, making a crap load of money. But now they're tired of traveling. Now they're trying to figure out how to how to not travel. That's why people, that's why I see everyone doing webinars and teleseminars. People are sick and tired of traveling. Um, but if you have to travel and you have kids, man, it, it's a very, very different experience. Um, and I can go up to all the different ways of life and, and things that people have to go, go through that I know. But internet releases you from those, those, those chains. Internet marketing releases you from being a slave to this thing. And the only thing that you're a slave to is basically your laptop. Uh, and you can you can un, you can get rid of that by hiring people, and you just telling them what to do. And you can travel for six months, twelve months, for um, and just do nothing if you like. Um, it gives you the freedom to do what you want, when you want, how you want. And if that sounds good to you, then you need to pay attention to internet marketing. You need to pay attention to information marketing. And I do not care if you learn it from me. There, there are a lot of good guys out here that are teaching internet marketing that has a very valuable information to share with you. But one thing I'll say to you right now. My event that I'm having, October 25th through 28th, is the only event that will teach a person who has not made a single penny online how to do it. It was it's the only program that will teach a person that has absolutely no idea how to make money online, no idea what to sell online, no idea of where to go to sell anything online. I mean, you don't have to know anything but come in with an open mind and the ability to follow a proven system. That is what my program and my event is created for. And the reason that I'm doing it, like I said, it's my first time ever doing it. The reason that I'm doing it is because after going to all these events, I get emails. I see people in the hallway talking to me, they like, like, like I'm just a little confused. You know, what, what, what should I do? What they, like, you have these, every guy, you have different speakers that are selling different stuff, trying to sell you the next shiny thing. When what you need as a beginner, you need 
a step-by-step -step system. That's why I call my, it's the, the Internet Marketing Blueprint event, a A to Z step-by-step -step blueprint for a beginner to follow. So let me, let me, let me, let's, I want to introduce everybody to David, go into his story, share with you what he did and um, talk to him, you know, exactly you know, about what he did and, you know, his experience. So, uh, David, are you there? Yes, sir. All right, let me see. Can you? David, talk a little bit. Uh, just give me a little test, test, test. I want to see if everyone can hear you. All right, test, test. David Avalon here. If you can hear David, let us, let, let us know you can hear. All right, Daniel said yes. All right, All right so let, let's move forward. Y'all can hear him. All right, so David, right now, we have a lot of people that um, may not know who you are, and I want to make sure that everyone understands that uh, that you're a newbie. So let me ask you a few questions. You need to answer it uh, before we you did this this product launch that you just did, and that people in the group saw you do because the mass majority of people here should have been in a part of the group a part of the, the launch and seeing what we're doing. I invited everyone on this Facebook group. Uh, and if you're if you're new to the call and you just got on here, please go. We're on Facebook, talking on Facebook. Go to Facebook, search for Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. The group asked to join and we'll um, let you in. Uh, David, are you a millionaire internet marketer with lots of experience? Absolutely not. Uh, I, I've never done anything with the internet before. You know, if you guys have been following me or if you know about the martial arts, I've just trained. Uh, I'm a mixed martial artist. I've trained for 16 years. I said this for two hours. And okay, yeah. So I mean, I don't really have that much experience, you know, online. And uh, I really got into it after. My brother had met with um, Lloyd, and Lloyd was uh, mentoring my brother on the mixed martial arts uh, business. And you know, slowly, I you know, I started to learn about Lloyd and how he was also a very good internet marketer. So when I heard about the opportunity where he was actually opening up uh, a group that would be you know teaching people how to do internet marketing, that's when I got interested. And this 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 past launch was this your very first time ever launching a product online? Yes, uh, I've never done any type of launch before. Uh, I didn't have a product uh, before. I've, I've always had ideas for things I could do because being in the martial arts, I've, I've done very well in, in the competitive grappling. And people have always asked me, "Oh, you know, you should uh, make an instructional course. Oh, you should do this." But like, I never knew how to like monetize it. Like, I know I could make, I could get somebody to film it, but I just didn't really have a way of dispersing it. And um, you know, so it was just something that you know I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to do. And the whole internet marketing thing to me was just very intimidating. You know, it, it just seemed like I've heard of, it's like you hear all the negativity people put out there. Oh, you know, it's it's you know that they're scams or that you know you, you have to have an inside uh, track to get in there because there's so much competition you know but uh, so before uh, being a part of this group I never did anything online or, or launched any sort of product okay and so what we're gonna share tonight David is a martial artist and he released a product in the martial arts niche so i want to talk to the negative person tonight he's going to sh share you know what he did in the martial arts niche but at the same time i want to make sure that you do not say well okay well that works in the martial arts niche see dan kennedy teaches us there's a thing called my business is different and what this means is that people hold on let me let me type it here My business is different. I'm talking, I'm going to call it your niche is not different. And what this means is this. 
the example that we're going to share tonight is um, from the martial arts industry. It doesn't matter if you cut, if it's about uh, teach your child how to uh, potty train your child, how to, you know, one of my, I know this guy that's doing very well in a niche, uh, teaching people how to stop biting their nails. Uh, you may think it's crazy, but it's, it's, it's not crazy. I, I have another friend. She teaches people how to um, do more business experience, more joining a life, teach people how to, to read people's palms, but not like a palm reader. Uh, you know, like the people you see five dollar palm reading. She's not. She doesn't do that. She has a, like a multi million dollar business, uh, all around teaching people how to read people's palms. Um, she does it for business owners. She does it for you know, like it's like there's so many different crazy niches that like I think probably the craziest one is about teaching people how to stop biting your nails. And whether you know this or not, you know, people biting their nails is it's a it's a huge um, problem for people that have it. Uh, but it doesn't matter what your niche is. It doesn't matter. If your niche is uh, business to business, it doesn't matter if your niche is business to consumer. It doesn't matter if you're uh, marketing to children, to adults, to women. It doesn't matter if you're marketing to uh, network people interested in network marketing or business opportunities. It doesn't matter what your niche is. Your niche is not different. One of the models that we're going to show tonight is um, just a model that we decided to put the martial arts niche into and make it work. So David, um, this is your first, your first uh, niche. And what I want to do, I want to first, let, let's show them some money real quick. Let me get straight to this money. So let me go in here real quick. Lock this up. Whoa, wait, before you go, take some time to look at these exclusive bonuses right here on the screen. All you have to do is. So David, I'm going to, um, I'm going to see if I can make this work. Let me see. What's going on. So I'm going to try to pass the keyboard to you so you can log in. Do you have it? Try now. Yes, I, I got it, sir. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to take control back. All right, so right now, for those that know what this is, this is a infusion soft, it's a CRM, and this is where you can keep uh, data, track leads. Some people have different um, different accounts. I have three different infusion uh, accounts. Plus, I use uh, one shopping cart and a few other carts. But so right here, this is the main infusion soft. So let me see. Let me make it smaller so y'all can see. So you can see here, this is this is where you got the email stats. Uh, you can do different testing, tracking, see how many you sent, uh, how many opens, and so forth. He has a whole thing, whole setup here. But what, what I want to show you is show you some money real quick. So reports. Oh, Dave, you got 122,000. So, 122,685 dollars and 77 cents. All right. So, what you see right here is, um, David, you did a a, a product launch, um, not a product, a pre-sale launch before we did our actual launch to us uh, to test the waters and do some, some testing and tweaking. Can you can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know when. I had the idea of making the product. I actually had filmed it first, and you know it was relatively low budget because I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money out of pocket uh, producing uh, this product for the Kimura Trap system. So instead, I figured, you know what? Let me film it myself. So I, I, I trained. Um, I had like a, one of my staff members at my academy who was not a professional photographer or anything like that. He's just a regular guy. But I'm getting the camera, and you know, I had him watch some instructional videos beforehand, so like he got an idea of how to film. So just put him behind the camera, grabbed another student, and we just went through the whole thing. And it took less than a, I think it was like one week, and that was a very relaxed pace where I was filming like one hour at a time. Filmed the whole set, okay, and and from there, 
now I was like, I, I didn't know like how much product I was going to have because I didn't have a, at, that, at the moment that I filmed that, I didn't have a big list. So I'm like, I wasn't really sure like how much I should make. You know, and it, it, it costs a lot to, to, uh, to make the set, particularly how I was doing it because there was a DVD, there was a book, there was like a handout. So I decided, you know what, I'll do a pre-sale and uh, I'll sell it before I even have it. And uh, that way, you know, I would cover my startup cost and uh, I'll get to gauge the response of, of, of the people there. So what you're seeing in the, in the first number was the pre-sale. So before I even had anything, like I, I already had filmed it, but I didn't actually make the product yet. But conceptually, I could have had nothing, just the, the, the idea of it, and I could have made that. You know, so like the whole thing that I did, I didn't pull anything out of pocket. Like it was funded just through the pre-sale. Nice. Okay, and then we build up for this launch, and like I said, don't worry, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna show you exactly what happened in the launch. Um, uh, but when I said I made hundred thousand dollars in three days, blah blah blah, uh, this is when we actually did the launch. So just so y'all know, we're not like you can see you can see quick stats here. You can see the referral partners. You can see you know what was sold, and just so you can um, get an idea, you can see the you know you can see the those all you know what's sold, how what what the actual cost. Like you know, his price is one hundred ninety-seven dollars. All these different things. You see the upsells. As they come through, and then let me come back out real quick. So you know that's 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 how it's broken down. But here, so now we did a launch, and in the first three days we sold out. Uh, launch did one hundred and three thousand nine hundred forty nine dollars and fifteen cents. Um, talk about that. You know, well, congratulations, first of all, congratulations, you know, uh, doing a six figure launch is not something, something to laugh at. Uh, it actually is, is really what good. Uh, if you think about this, um, you have people like, uh, the guy that was on my Facebook fan page thinks that it was so good that it, that is it's illegal or it's so good that it can't, it can't even be true. It's impossible for it to have happened. Um, and can you, can you talk about how did it make you feel? doing this like you know what it, what did it do for your life you know uh what's what what type of possibility did it, did it open your eyes to just, just share that a little bit with everybody you know it was i mean to me it's like a dream come true uh when i was telling my my wife how well everything had went i was actually emotional because i just realized that now the the doors are wide open to do whatever it is that i want now because this is something that, first off, like I, like I had said before, uh, that I'm very passionate about. I, I enjoy doing this. I mean, I was able to interact with, uh, you know, hundreds of people out there and share my knowledge with them. And I got tons of feedback, people that are enjoying everything there, uh, the product that I'm providing, the services I'm providing. So it's very fulfilling. It's not like a, it's not like a, a painful thing to do. You know, a lot of people do like nine to five jobs and they hate every moment of it. Like I loved it, but it is work. You know, you got to put time in and it, you know, it takes effort, but it's enjoyable. It's something that you can be proud of at the end of the day. And uh, I mean, it, it was just an amazing experience. Um, uh, do you want me to talk about the, the actual launch a little bit? Not yet. I, I just want to, okay. uh, because obviously from the guys posting my Facebook page and different emails that I get and so forth, like people have a hard time wrapping their mind around this number uh, to the point that they think it's, 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 it's a scam, they, to the point that they think it's impossible. Um, and like I said, it's, you know, may, I guess mainly the employee eyes where people have lots of shit, bullshit, and lots of concrete in their head. Um, uh, and if you, if, and if you're here watching this, you're seeing this, like I said, you're, you're seeing the numbers and if you go and tell your friends or family or whatever, they won't believe you and don't try. Um, and, but you have to be immune to criticism because understand this, the most important thing to remember is this, is that you are only worry about the people that are interested in what you have to offer. And I'll talk about that once we go back to my Facebook page a little bit more. So let me move forward. So we did 103,000, uh, David did 103,949 dollars 15 cents here. And then uh, 
you got a you got a phone call from your fulfillment house and what did your fulfillment house tell you well they had told me that when they produce dvds that it's like a standard thing they do that they do like an overrun where they actually produce a certain amount more i think it was uh, like 10 percent in this case they, they, they do more than uh, the actual just in case there's this that are defective or that are missing or whatnot and after the launch had closed because I sold out. There was people emailing me, emailing me. Oh, you know, I want more. I want more. Like, you gotta give it to me. I didn't get a chance. I was at work. There's like every excuse under the book uh, why people didn't get it in time. So, uh, but in the in all that rush, you know, I was focusing on making sure that all the orders were going out properly and that they were being shipped. And uh, I got a phone call uh, from uh, Cindy, which is uh, the one who's doing fulfillment, and she was saying that. You know, they, they have these uh, leftover discs here, and they didn't know uh, what I wanted to do with them. And, you know, I was like, you know, can, is, is, there, or is, there, or is there anything else with it? Is there a disc? And unfortunately, they didn't have, they don't do the overrun of, on books or on, on the actual handouts, but on the DVDs they do. And I guess they said that if they were able to put all the, the extra discs together, they couldn't assemble like 50 sets, but it would just be discs. You know, so but it's still better than, you know, than, than nothing. So I figured, you know what, I'll go ahead because uh, I wanted to get, you know, obviously as much product out there as possible. So, you know, I let my list uh, know. I'm like, hey, you know, I could, I could have 50 more sets. It's just the discs. There's no book. There's no DVD case or anything like that, but it's just a disc. But if you really want it, you can pick it up. And within a 24-hour window, uh, they were all sold. All right, so let, let's do something funny. Um, when... You went off when you went offline. You actually um, told everyone that it was being taken off the market, and then you were told that it's being put back on the market. And then people started posting that information all over the internet, uh, saying, "Oh, he's putting it back online. He didn't really sell out." Blah 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 blah. Like like it was a joke, and they thought that you didn't sell out. They thought you were you're joking around, right? Uh, yeah, like you said, uh, you know, the haters are out there. There's people that think uh, it's all like shysty stuff, that it's like scam, official type stuff. It's not. I mean, I mean the, the logistics of it is, if I could sell more, I, I would, you know. But like, like I said before, like I, I did this on a I, – I didn't pull money out of pocket. Like the number that you see there the, for the pre-launch, that's what it cost to produce uh, the, the inventory that I had. So – you know, I didn't put anything more into it. You know, if I would have had more capital starting up, I could have printed more and made more money on this launch, but it is what it is. Great. So, I mean, are, are you upset that you made an extra $8,500? <laughs> Certainly not, sir. <laughs> and, and, it, and it brought your total to $122,685.77. So... Um, you know, all, all together, what about seven days, six days, five days? What was it about total? We started on a Monday uh, because we did the webinar launch, and then it was just like a two-hour window for the webinar. And then officially Tuesday at 12 p.m., we went through, finished on Thursday, and then Friday night when I found out about the extra uh, discs, uh, I think it was around like 7 p.m. or so, I reopened for those last uh, 50, and on Saturday at 2.30, that's when it closed off. Okay. Um, and like I said, once again, I want, I want to say thank you, congratulations to you, and, and, and I want to ask you a few questions because... Um, What what made all this possible? Like like what if if if, if it came down to a few things, like what do you think made this possible? Because like with all the people out here that want to get involved in internet marketing, with all the people that that would love to be able to make a hundred and twenty two thousand six hundred eighty five dollars and seventy seven cents uh, on a, a on a, a week long blah blah blah, you know, a short launch of of their of their very first product. Um, uh, a lot of people don't think they can do it. A lot of people think that, you know, it can't be done. Uh, like, like, how were you able to do it? Well, uh, 
I've been a, a big fan of the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And one of the main, uh, one of the guiding principles in there is the, the power of the mastermind. And, you know, as far as the, like the, the, the inner world was, I didn't really have a connection to it. You know, like my, my brother is a, a great businessman and he does very well at the academy, but he didn't have that, like the, as far as like you know, internet marketing side of it, uh, he didn't have it when we didn't have anybody, you know, in the area that could do that for us. So they, uh, when you, you had opened up uh, uh, the Internet Mastermind group, that opened the world of possibilities. And it's like, it's hard to explain, like, if you've never experienced, like, a Mastermind group. Because just literally being in the same room as a, with a bunch of like-minded people with very uh, skilled in their trade, like it's almost by osmosis that you start picking things up, and just besides the knowledge, there's also the inspiration. You know, like uh, uh, for example, we have one of our uh, fellow members, Steve, and, uh, and he had uh, some very good success early on. I think, man, you know, if he can do it, I can do this also. And it, just being able to collaborate with people, we're bouncing ideas back and forth. I mean, because there's so many questions, especially when I started into uh, into the group, I didn't know how to get started and like what do I do you know like I have an idea like I know like that this Kimura Trap thing I was very passionate about I knew it worked it, was, it would be a phenomenal hit but I didn't just I didn't know how to get it out there and I didn't know like the starting point I remember the, what, the, what that mastermind group was telling us and what, you know what, what you've been saying all along powers in the list powers in the list and it, it took a while to get that through to me because like I uh, because you, you had said that a while back and I had the idea for the product before but I didn't get moving but you know like you said this shit in the concrete shit in concrete but being in the group long enough banged out enough concrete loosened up all that crap and uh, I started building the list you know and from there things started to you know to, to snowball I got the list going you know I started uh, providing value to that list nurturing them and again like just being able to communicate with a list is another like tricky part and uh, I mean, you had provided us with resources and uh, teaching us how to copyright and stuff like that. So, like, I mean, for me, like, this, I, I wouldn't even be here without the mastermind group. It's like, I, I just, I wouldn't know where to start. Great. And, um, and we talk about the mastermind group. We talk about uh, being connected to people that know, actually know what they're doing. Because there are a lot of people I see, a lot of people out here that are, online they're, they're they have products they're selling stuff out here but uh they're not they're not having this type of success of stuff that i'm doing and um it's because they're really kind of doing it doing it on their own they're not connected to anyone uh, they, they're probably joining people's email list. you may maybe they may be buying a course here or there and just mimicking what they see on the outside but um not really um not really getting the you know the, the nitty-gritty the type the things that the things that really make the big difference for you to make large income leaps, uh, like a lot of people are doing. Um, so let, let's go and sh actually show them, you know, um, you know, some of the process. One thing I got to tell everybody right now, let me come back to the Facebook page. I, I may need your help. If I have anybody here that is experienced with go to webinar, this is what I kind of need. I, set this recording to go from 8 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and it I have this count big old countdown clock in front of my face um, and at 10 o'clock I, I don't want to get shut off because we're getting ready to show um, the actual you know the mind map the process what, what the model we put in so if you know if you know how I can extend my time in go to meeting while I'm in this please let me know Give me one second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click some buttons to see if I can get to something editing screen, hold on.
I guess we have no experts here. I right, give me one minute. I'm gonna check the settings button. I'm trying to extend it. All right. Well, this is what, this is what I'm gonna do. This, I'm, I'm going to trust GoToMeeting as a, a very reliable source. And if, if a meeting was still going on, would they actually would they actually cut us off and shut us down? They probably give us the option. So that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, we're, we're going to keep it moving. So now, Dave, what I'm going to do? I'm going to have I'm going to bring up this screen here. Move this. And once again. So right now we have this right here. This is a Camera Trap launch system. So what, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go take walk you through a little bit of the process. Um, and remember this: once again, your niche is not different. It doesn't matter what you're selling. It doesn't matter what if you're selling a product. It doesn't matter if you're selling a service. And at my event, not only am I going to teach you how to sell products, I'm going to teach you how to create, uh, how to do events, how to do create mastermind groups. I'm going to teach you the entire information marketing model so that you can take your where, whatever you're doing now and take it to the next level um so as we go through this please 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 do not think that this is only applicable to a martial arts product it, i don't care if it's a if it's a um teaching your baby how to read um I, I, like i said the uh teach your baby how to potty, uh, potty train your kid Stop biting nails. Um, how to how to how to create will uh, quilts? Stop your dog. Uh, teach your parrot how to talk. Um, any like I mean crazy niche. Anything that you can think about can be done within this model. And at my at my event October twenty fifth through twenty eighth, I'm going to show you different ways to. Um, I'm going to actually show you different ways to. Um, all the different models. I'm gonna show you the different models. I'm, I'm gonna show you this model here. I'm gonna like we're gonna show it right now. I'm gonna show you this model even in more depth. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different models because in the information marketing model, you just had to figure out what do you want to, what niche you want to be in, how we're gonna go into the niche, and what model are we gonna follow. And then when you find a model that you're comfortable with and a model that you want you want to follow. Then you just go in that model and then you follow the process like this is not rocket science, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to go through it right now. And David, uh, I, I give you the screen, give you the control. Oh, let me click. I'm going I'm to keep this right here, Dave, so you, you can just go through. I'll, 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 I'll move it as you talk. So go ahead. OK, so this is the, the system here that uh, I use for the launch. And this is just. I didn't have to reinvent anything like that. This is what you know was given to me by by, by Lloyd. He just says, "This is what you gotta do. Do it." So sure enough, the first thing that we need to do, um, what I needed to do, is to get traffic. And I, I, I was working again, low budget. I didn't want to put money out of my pocket. So everything you see there, these are free sources uh, of traffic. Yeah, let, me jump, let me jump in there real quick, Dave, just to uh, to hammer this home. When Dave came to me uh, about the traffic, there's two types of traffic. There's free traffic, and then there's paid traffic. And I, I explained both in detail and whatever it consisted. And I, and I said, what do you want to do? Because my advice to you is going to be uh, dependent on what you want to do and how you want to do it and the speed in which you want to do it. So he said he wanted to start off. He, he didn't want to spend a lot of money. He didn't want to put a big investment out there. So he wanted to, you know, do things more on the free side. So this is a entry entry level, um, entry level exposure that I gave him. And I'm saying this: what you're seeing right now is a is, is not baby steps, but it's a it's still a very uh, uh, beginner level entry phase. And he he fo followed it flawlessly. So go ahead, Dave. Okay. So I used 
uh, and above the first traffic source uh, I was using was the forums, you know, and this is very targeted uh, people like uh, in the martial arts. So I'm looking at martial arts forums and particularly people who are interested in grappling and, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, which is the, the style that the video is um, selling covers. And the way that I was getting people's attention there was by providing free videos and also giving them access to free webinars. And the exchange was that they would have to opt in to a list, uh, which I'd be sending them to a squeeze page to do that. So and that was one uh, strategy with the with the forums. The other one was Facebook, just posting links on Facebook to videos. And when they go to that link, it sends them to that squeeze page. Uh, and was able to use groups a lot and because, it's, again, groups are targeted little niches of people all in one interest. So posting on the groups and also ad tagging people who who have a lot of followers, particularly uh, fan pages that are in your niche. So uh, you can ad tag them; their followers get to see it. Again, it brings more people in. And Twitter, uh, essentially the same thing. Uh, you can tweet, get people to retweet your things. Uh, I was able to get a lot of the like, UFC fighters to retweet my links and whatnot. And again, that brings a lot more traffic to my page. But uh, really, the what made this launch uh, huge was uh, what the advice that Loya had given me because I didn't have a, a big uh, list. You know, I, I had a, a, a very small, modest sized list. But you know, what he was saying, if you don't got it, you got to get it. And the uh, best way to get it is from other people who already have it. So he had established with me a, an affiliate program. And essentially, the affiliates are, are just other people who already have lists, they're already established, and they're just sitting on it. So if you give them the opportunity to, to use their list to, and to compensate them, they'll want to do it as long as the, the numbers make sense. So uh, uh, Lloyd had given us a system here uh, on how to do it, and essentially I, there was a commission program involved, and I also had a contest set up so that there was bonuses for performance. So now it's not just about them uh, making money, but it's also they're competing against each other, which you know uh, brings up the level of uh, performance. And then uh, the other thing that uh, I was told by Lloyd is just to make the thing as easy as possible, because a lot of people, like, you know, like you had said earlier, are lazy and they don't want to have to do work. You know, they they just want the simplest route possible. So uh, we had worked out a way of developing what we call swipes, which is just is ready made content. Like the emails written already out for them, uh, banners hey, and graphics. Hey, let, me, let me jump in real quick, Dave. Yes, sir. If you're watching this webinar right now and if you're going through this and you are completely lost, do not worry about it. Like the, I'm not like we're we're taking different people and we have different webinars. I'm gonna we'll be doing lots of different webinars and lots of different trainings and, and sending out lots of different stuff before my event comes out and like I said I, I just don't want anyone that uh may feel lost right now to think that oh you can't do it uh, I'll tell you right now there was like for my first two or three years in internet marketing anytime anyone talked about SEO which is called search engine optimization anytime that anyone talked about SEO it, it felt like I was sitting in an area that was talking about a foreign language it was the most frustrating thing in, on earth now I get it. it took me two or three years to finally get it um, but I got it. And like I said, we're, we're chipping away the concrete, but there's a lot of people that are in the group. There's a lot of people that have received my free DVD, a lot of people that have been participating in the group and are at a level where that this is making lots of sense. Uh, hey, Dave, let me come out here and let's ask, let's ask them so I can ask them. Let me know if this information that we're going through right now on this mind map is valuable to you guys and gals. If you love it, let me let me hear you say you love it.
Missy Hickey said it's over her head. Don't worry about it, Missy. Do not worry about it. Trust me. Stay in this group. Make sure you participate. Stay on my email list. Make sure you open all my emails. I got you covered. Bolo says a little lost. No problem, Bolo. I got you covered, buddy. I'm not sure how long you've been on the list, but like I said, a lot of people have been on the list for a little bit longer. Some people, we got a lot of people that are new. Um, if, you're, if you're new to this, please don't worry about it. Like I said, get my free DVD, uh, participate in the list, and you, you'll I'll take care of you. Because like I said, everything I'm doing is 100% geared to the brand newbie. I am in this game and doing this event for the sole purpose to make sure that anybody walking this earth who knows me and knows what I'm doing can never say they did, did not have the possibility and the ability to get involved in internet marketing. And let me let me forewarn you because like you can think you can think this this is a um a scarcity technique or a, a, a marketing tactic, but it is not. Like this, I I plan for this to be my only event. This event I'm going to turn into a uh, a very expensive uh, investment um, home study course down the road. And I'm going all out because this this is going to be my like what is going to be in this event and what's going to be in this home study course is going to be my legacy. It's like it's going to be my contribution to the world. I am putting my name. I'm putting my life. I'm staking my reputation on this because this product is is a product geared to the newbie. I want someone that has never done an Internet marketing before to be able to come to my event. And leave my event and know how to start and, and build a profitable online business. That's my goal. That's my dream. That's what I'm going to do. Um, at first, if you if you looked at my event at first, just just so I'm 100 clear, if you looked at my event at first. My event was three days. And, you, and if you have a letter, you got the letter with, with my DVD. It said, um, "Spend three days with me." Well, I was going through all the stuff that I'm going to be teaching. I was like, "Man, I'm, I'm we're going to be up to 12 o'clock every night." And I said. I, I called the hotel and I got them to extend another night. So now, not only is it not a three day event, it's now a four day event. Like I did, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I got Joe Theismann coming in. Like he, like he's Washington DC. I, I, I had an opportunity to get Joe Theismann to come to speak. And Joe Theismann, you know, Washington Redskins, uh, quarter, uh, Super Bowl quarterback. We are going to have a ball. And like I said, um, if you want to learn how to do internet marketing, I make sure you want to be at my event. Like everyone's yep, everyone said they like. So let's let's go back, Dave. We want to go here. Uh, bring this back up. Let me see where is it. I may have lost it. Let me see. There it is. All right. So continue, please. Okay. So. Um as I was talking about, like the, the swipe content. Essentially, if you have, uh, if you're an affiliate, so you ha like you're a big dog, you have your own list. Uh, you might not want to. You might be lazy, and you don't want to have to write your own emails or put your own uh, post and generate your own content to get people onto the squeeze page or to get people to purchase the product. So, as the affiliate, uh, as the person running the affiliate program myself, I. Uh, you know, made the the emails for them, and I also provided like videos actually training them how to use the emails and how to use the uh, the affiliate program, so that pretty much it was made as easy as possible, so that anybody with a list can go in there and start putting out content for me. And again, the goal of the affiliates is so that they drive traffic for me, so I'm getting to leverage their list. In order to uh, get more people to, to order and to, to opt in, so from there, uh, all of that traffic is being pushed into a pre-launch squeeze page. And the the way the the, the battle plan that Lloyd uh, had set up in this model that, that I'm using was that you, the easiest way to think of it is like a movie premiere, right? Like when they were releasing the movie The Avengers, there's like months of commercials beforehand and you're seeing it on billboard banners and you're seeing it all over the place way before you can actually watch it but it's you're making by seeing these commercials you get excited and you're going to tell you you say to yourself I'm going to watch this movie or I'm not but you're you're making a buying decision way in advance and as a result people line up to a movie theater 
to watch a movie that they could watch a day later or even a week later. But because of all the demand that's made early on, people go on the very first day and, and line up and wait an hour in line just to watch and be one of the first. So that, that's like the power of the pre-launch format. So uh, with the, the online uh, internet marketing, it's the same thing. So Lloyd had me set it up so that you, you set out the system, okay, you, you do uh, teaser videos, so people will come to a, a squeeze page, and there'll be a video playing, and it'll show them part of my product, so it'll show like a technique, and then to get more techniques, they will opt in. So uh, we had that going. I had set up over like two weeks with this pre-launch, so I would send out a new video every couple days, and we're getting lots of people excited to jump in. And then uh, towards the end of that pre-launch sequence, uh, to get even more people in, he, he had me get a, a webinar going. So the webinar was like the day before the launch. And again, we drove a lot of traffic to the people to join the webinar. Let me jump and, in one more time, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, when we talk about you having to, you know, like one of the principles we always talk about Think and Grow Rich is talking about fa having fast action. Um, as we were going in, in this process and I was assisting David, uh, there was no questioning. There was no, there was no, oh, but I can't do that. Oh, this and oh, that. There was no complaining. No, there was, like I said, you need to do this. He did that. He said, if I said you have to do a webinar, he did a webinar. He didn't say, like, he didn't say, oh, I don't know how to do a webinar. I don't have a webinar. So, like, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's yes or no. If 97% of us do this, 3% of the population do that. And, and everyone that is attached to me, everybody that wants to attach to me, everyone that wants to do what I do, you have to be a doer. Some people think they're doers because they're doers in whatever they're doing or they've gotten to a situation in whatever they do that they are, 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 are viewed as doers, but they're not really doers. You're like, you may like, like within the, you know, the 3%, the 3% population that are winners Every category has um, the 97% of losers breakdown. So if you think about this, think about this. So 97% 97 of the population are not fast action takers. 97% of the population are not doers. 3% of the population are. But within the 97% of the population that are not, that 97% is also split into inside of that 97%. Imagine that 97% being their 100%. So if you're a 97 percenter, your whole 100% of you is a 97%er. Nine, nine, percent so within that 97%, there's also a 3%er and a 97%er within the 97%er. Let me go back. I, I, this is a different one. So let me write this out. So inside the 97 percenter, understand this crop is 97 percenters, but inside these 97 percenters, we can break those 97 percenters down into 97 percent of them and 3 percent of them. And then what happens is the 3 percenters within the 97 percenters, they think they're 3 percenters, but they're not 3 percenters. They're 3 percenters within 97 percenters and, and real 3 percenters see them as that. Now that's a real. My wife's over here laughing at me. Let me see. Does that make sense? Let me see if I can get if I can get close. I can see if I just riddled you guys. Not sure what's wrong with my internet tonight. Just, just post on the page because my question is not posting. Just post on the page if you got it.
right he said you got it thank you. yeah so there are a lot of people that are in this situation and they feel that they're three percenters but they're just they're just three percenters within 97 percenters and do not really have a real skill they do not have a real skill that let, 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 let me let me explain this if you are doing good in your life if you're doing well in your life right now in whatever you do and if we were to take all that away all the money the entire thing that you're doing right now and start you over from scratch but we don't we don't take away your skill sets do you have a skill set that can get you back to the level that you're at right now in 12 18 24 months 36 months if you're really you know up there um, and if you don't, then you need to understand this multiple stream of income thing even more than everyone else, because if it ever happens, you're going to be in trouble and you're a three percenter within your 97 percent of the population, although you're a three percenter within your world. So anyway, so I'll, I'll leave the riddle. Let's go back to my, the map real quick. Let's see. Everyone says they get, they're getting great information from the map. So, all right, so let's go back to you, Dave. Okay, yeah, and just like to sort of go like what you were saying there, like the beauty of, the, of this is that I didn't really have to think about like what to do. Like if I had to like recreate a, a system, like Lloyd just says, this is what you got to do, do it. You know, and if and just what you said there, if you're smart, you do it <laughs> because you know it, it works. You know, it, it just works. I, I just had to. You just got to do the thing. And uh, with the with the webinar, when you said do it, I did it. And essentially, in the webinar, it was pretty much two hours of content. I was showing them the the system. So in this case, I was showing them the martial arts techniques in the Kimura Trap system, going over it uh, in. It, pulsing back with feedback, you know, seeing, you know, people are getting it or whatnot and moving forward. Uh, and uh, I would ask questions. We did a Q&A. All right, so I, I really wanted to make sure that I, I had a connection uh, with uh, the audience and that everybody was enjoying it. And at the, the end of the webinar, I had given everybody who attended a, an offer to for, uh, order the Kimura Trap system before the launch, which was going to be in like 12 hours later. So they were going to get a first chance in it. But not only were they going to get a first chance, they were also going to get uh, a couple of bonuses that would not be available at the launch. So there was a, a bonus incentive to order uh, at the webinar. And those people were, were essentially broken down. They had two choices. They could either buy or they don't buy. So it was one or the other. So people who chose to, to buy were then put into an upsell funnel. And this this was big because uh, Lloyd had told me to have this set up before the pre-launch, but I didn't have it. And now that I put it in place for the launch, I realized how much uh, money I lost out on. Because it's, it's super, super, super powerful. So essentially, when they when they buy, uh, they they click add to cart. They're given uh, another offer that's related to the product they just ordered. So it's a complementary product, and they can choose to add that on. And uh, so then, if they they add that on, then they go into the second upsell or the third upsell, and you and you, and you keep selling them uh, as much as you as you possibly can. And if they don't choose to get the upsell, then you could go into a downsell, and you can go to another downsell. So, like this, you you try to give them as many offers as you can that will complement the product that they're using, give them a better experience. And at the very end of it, there's a thank you page, there's something that was that's not on there that should be uh, uh, I missed was the, the follow-up sequence. That after they order, they'll be getting emailed and followed up on to make sure that they're using the product and that they're, they're enjoying it. On, on, so that's if they bought. On the other side, if they didn't buy, they went to the order page, but then they, they didn't buy, 
Then when they went to leave the page, it would redirect them to another offer. So it would send them to a free DVD offer where they would only be uh, paying for, for, for shipping and handling to get the free DVD. If they chose to buy uh, and order that free DVD, then they were resold on getting the, the full system. So, and if they ordered that, then they would go through that same funnel as it did before. And what's interesting is that a lot of people end up doing that. So like, even though they said no the first time, they'll say yes the second time. So uh, that's like, that was a huge like, breakthrough for me there, actually having that upsell funnel that Lloyd just put the plan there. And if they don't get the, 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 the free DVD, then they're given an exit pop-up, which will ask them to join an email list. And if they join the email list, they'll become part of a long-term nurture sequence, which essentially is just a long email list, like a newsletter, that's just keeping them in the loop, uh, giving them content, videos, uh, and whatnot, and making and keeping them happy. And the ultimate goal is, in the long term, you'll win them over, and they'll become a customer of yours. And finally, if they didn't join the email list, <laughs> I laugh at this one because this is one that um, Lloyd has been telling me to do for 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 ages, and I, I finally did it now, which is retargeting, where uh, essentially people who don't uh, order, they will be followed around uh, wherever they go with an ad, so like you have a a way of recapturing them later on. Good. So let's go over here real quick. Okay. So, the launch a little bit. Okay. So then, after the webinar launch, uh, I gave them the offer, and they had a window of two hours to take the offer. And then uh, after that, it was closed off, and. Then the, the launch started at 12 uh, p.m. on Tuesday. And at that point, after the people who had pre-ordered and the people who had taken the webinar offer, there was a, a very limited amount left over. So I made sure everybody knew that and that uh, they had to order as soon as possible before the stock was limited. So they were sent to... Uh, a sales letter page from an email letting them know that they order now and from there it's the the, the sales process is essentially the, the same as a webinar they can either buy and if they buy they're given upsells downsells if they don't buy they're sent to a free DVD offer and they can choose to buy buy and so the, the funnel worked the same uh, I reconfigured uh, my upsell funnel a little bit based on the results that I got from my webinar because I, I noticed certain people weren't seeing certain upsells because uh, they were Xing out uh, because they were seeing too many of the the less attractive offers so I moved them around and the result was that I got a much much higher conversion particularly the, 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 the first upsell was a 50 percent conversion Okay, and then we came through, you already went through all these, correct? Correct, yeah. This is essentially the same process as the, as the webinar. The only difference was I just, I, I, I moved around some of the upsell offers uh, just to see, uh, if, because based on the webinar, certain upsells weren't doing well, other ones were. So I moved the ones that were doing well up at the front, uh, which in this case was the, the Switch DVD. And that was a huge uh, difference. Like I said, that the Switch DVD had like a 50% conversion. So I moved that to the front. Now, now, now let, let's, let's not trace over that real quick because I was talking earlier about everyone about testing websites and, and seeing what converts better. And if, if, if certain things don't convert, we have to get it out of there because it's not making us any money. So can you go, just you know, not you know, to go super duper detail, but talk a little bit more about how important and valuable uh, me stressing 
testing was to you and what you know what type of um, monetary difference do you think it made being able to have these tests and make uh, business decisions based off these tests and these numbers uh, a, a huge difference you know because uh, on the on the web and well first of all in, in the pre-launch I didn't have uh, upsells so I was suffering there but then on the webinar I did have upsells but uh, Again, the, the first configuration, it didn't perform, you know, the way I wanted to. I noticed that uh, based on the, the testing that, uh, you know, a lot of people were weren't going all the way through the funnel because they were saying no too many times in the beginning. So they were just, you know, getting frustrated or leaving before they actually got through the whole thing. So the, the testing became important there because then I know, okay, I got to shuffle around the, the, the offers because it's not working right now. And that shuffle you know, made a huge difference. Like I said, like the, the, that one product had a 50% conversion, whereas in the other configuration, it was only at 20% because it wasn't, people weren't getting to it. They were, they were leaving before they got there. And I, I noticed that certain offers just weren't working at all, so I just removed those. And uh, it, it made a huge difference. So having that testing, you know, and then, you know, having you stressing that testing was big because I, I wasn't big into the idea of testing. It seemed like work, but when you see that it actually makes a huge difference, uh, it's definitely worth every uh, ounce of effort. All right. So now let's get to some really cool stuff here. Like, so we're sold out now. Um, and. People are still hitting the websites, they're landing on the page, they want to buy it, people are irritated, people are mad and angry, they're talking a lot of crap on the forums, you know, um, it's just crazy. Uh, and how do, how do we monetize, we were able to monetize this for you by doing a little strategy and I want you to go and go here and talk to them about, um, oh no, no, we haven't got, we have another relaunch yet, have you, let's do a relaunch real quick. Yeah. Okay. okay, so the relaunch was like a spontaneous uh, thing. Once I found out uh, that I actually had more DVDs, I didn't have books or, or the cases or, or, the, or the handouts, but they had more DVDs. And like I said, they were able to set up so that they could make like 50 cents. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, you know, like, should I go again? You know, and you know, I said, sure, go. So we set it up. Uh, I made a video. I, I told people what happened. You know, and I said, well, you know, you can take advantage of this. And I still have 50. And put them in. And, again, the, the funnel was the same. It was, uh, it was working. So I just had a new video uh, explaining. Let me stop right there to make sure we have the language down. So uh, you – Please explain. Imagine somebody that's listening to listening to this and watching the webinar doesn't know what a funnel is. So, what is a funnel? Okay, uh, the way you, uh, you had taught us the funnel is essentially the, the customer has to move through, like you imagine, like a pipe, and they have to to move through it to get to the end. So when you when you have your 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 funnel, like if you see on the, the mind map there. Uh, for example, if they go to the, they don't buy, if they go to the option they don't buy, then they move to exit redirect. Then they have a choice. They have to move through either they don't buy or they buy, and it moves down, moves down. So like, the more steps you have in your funnel, the the more you can segment uh, and put the right offer in front of that particular person. Maybe that person's not ready for like a high ticket item, but maybe uh, if your your funnel set up right, you can downsell them on a, on a lower ticket item that would be appealing to them. Uh, so uh, the funnel that um, uh, we had set up for the launch was working, so we just used that same funnel again, put it in uh, for this uh, relaunch, and again, it worked very well. Uh, we were able to sell out on those extra DVDs inside of uh, less, less than 24 hours. Nice. So now let's get to some nice, like let's just get some more good stuff here. So right now, um, it's it's the post launch. It's over. A lot of you, if you're doing something, you want to make sure that you're not just losing. Um, you don't get lost in this right now. Uh, at the end of your launch, what are you going to do? 
And so right now we're sharing with you what happens in the post line. So go ahead and go into that and tell how we did it. Okay, so as soon as my stock was depleted, I put up a new video uh, which was announcing that the system was sold out, that uh, they couldn't get any more, and that uh, it would be, it was undetermined whether or not, when and where, if I was going to re-release. Uh, and from that point, then uh, uh, we had set up that they can still pick up the free DVD and uh, as a you know as a teaser, which still has a lot of viable information on it, so they're given the free DVD offer right below that video explaining that the system is sold out, and then uh, Loyan has set up a, a new funnel for these people, which essentially was that they took the free DVD offer, they bought it, they were given uh, an upsell, and if they didn't take the free DVD offer, then they were op they were given the choice of opting in. If they opted in, then they're put into the long-term uh, nurture emails, where I would be uh, harvesting them so for the future, I'd develop a good relationship with them, I would be able to, to have them order with confidence in, the, uh, in a later date. And if they didn't join, we're using retargeting so that uh, they'll keep seeing my ads and join onto the email list at a, at a later date. Nice. So let me, let's go back out here. Let's see if I can get to it. Something real weird with my internet tonight. All right, so while well, this is working on, I'll ask you a few more questions, Dave. So, all right, so um, in closing, wrapping up, so you had your launch, you had your idea. Um, I'm not sure if you mentioned, I can't really remember if you mentioned this, but in thing where Richard talks about taking fast action, and when it comes to taking fast action, although this was great and fantastic, but in front of the ICR the other day, you made a comment about how you wish you had uh, done this earlier. Can you can you can you share your story about you know what that why you mentioned that to me? Yes, uh, my my brother has been you know a mentor with you for a while, and I never put in the time or or effort to try to learn the system that uh, we just uh, showed right here when it was sitting there the whole time and you know I could have made the, the effort to, to learn it but uh, you know I felt like oh it was out of my reach it was a little over my head I didn't know anything about this uh, internet marketing stuff there's too much competition all, all sorts of of blocks that that you know that little devil on your shoulder is telling you not to do that don't 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 think about doing that it's too risky or I was going to lose too much money trying to do it. But, I mean, what I did here wasn't anything new. I mean, you, you, you've had the system forever, and, like, this is just like a baby one that you, you that you had given me. And it, it, it performed better than anything I've ever done before in my life, you know, like, as far as, like, financially. And just, like, the on the other level, for me, it was very satisfying because, you know, I enjoyed all the interaction with all the people I had. And, you know, for, uh, some people might say, oh, you know, I don't have, like, programming guys or I don't have, you know, people who can do this. Like, I, I had, you know, set up a lot of this stuff on this page 
and it's just by following all the resources that that were given. Uh, is, you had said get you know use Optimize Press to set up your WordPress pages. You know, I use Optimize Press, you know, and you just follow the videos, and it's easy to set up. You know, it's, it's just you got to do the, the work. You know, like you, you know, you you put the system down, and it's just are you going to do it or not? And when I finally did it, sure enough, it performed uh, amazingly. You know, and like again, this is just my first time, and it's one of the reasons I'm, uh, I was so excited. You know, like I said, like when I was talking to my wife after the the launch, it was it was pretty emotional because I know, like man, like a, this is just the first foray, and this is just me following like a simple plan. I can only imagine the type of success I will have once I start getting uh, more into it and uh, I start seeing more of the systems. So I, I know, like the, the power is is in the system. You know, like, you don't have to try to reinvent something. I, I've I've seen this through the the martial arts business because the systems that you gave uh, to my brother turned our martial arts school around night and day instantly and my brother was doing and he was doing and it, and it worked so now that you know I've, I've seen the same results in following the, the internet marketing system it's just super exciting you, know, like you don't have to try to reinvent things or try to configure something or try to guess at what works like there's a it's already there I mean like I didn't do anything different like there's nothing that I did that I innovated. You know, it's just like you, you, this gives a battle plan. This is how you get, what you got to do. Are you, you going to do it? You know, if you, if you, do you do it, you make money. If you don't, well, you, you, you have to guess and wander in the dark. You know, so for me, like, it's just a huge relief. Like, I, I'd rather not have to try to reinvent something. I'd rather just follow something that works. You know, I know, like, through learning, you always learn from somebody who who knows more than you, who has already traveled that path. You don't have to blaze uh, a new path. My internet's acting real wacky. I haven't been able to pull something in quite a while. And Dave, I'm gonna take away, I'm gonna take the controller away because maybe that's something that bothers me. All right, so my, something, um, I can't see anything, so I think I'm a, my wife's here. I think she's going to type for me. Um, thank you, Dave, for the assistance. I, I'm sure that a lot of your story has inspired a lot of um, a lot of people here. So I didn't really need a post for you. I guess, oh, it did post. Keep it coming for me. Keep it coming. Because a lot of people, listen, a lot of people out here think that they can't do it. Let me see what's in the comments. Let's see what we got here. Gary said he already has done what Dave did it's on a smaller level. I'm looking for the ones that said no. Yeah, that's the key thing uh, as far as like guidance and, and believe in yourself. Whoa, wait, before you go, take some time to look at these exclusive bonuses right here on the screen. All you have to do is enter your name and your email in the box and these money making bonuses are yours. Fill out your information and I'll take you to the other side where I can tell you much more about this free DVD. Anthony Aragos, 
Yes, we got Chapman. We got Chapman. I can believe I can do it. Like, I'm telling you, any anyone can do it. You just had to follow this. You just had to follow the system. David did an excellent job. Trying to get back online here. You can see this pickup truck that I'm, I have. I want everybody to write this number down. Write this number down. 816-698-6245. That is 816-698-6245. Let me pull up. I'm going to pull up a sheet here. This is one of my promotions for Camara Trap. So I'm going to put this here so everybody can see. 816-698-6245. This is a, a personal cell phone of Eileen. Eileen is the personal concierge for my internet marketing event. The special website is www.theinternetmarketingblueprintevent.com. And tonight I have a special offer for those that uh, are serious and want to come to the event. If you're on this webinar and you are already registered for this event, um, you will be already included in this. But at my event, like I said, I moved it to four days. I invited a few of my millionaire, multimillionaire buddies, internet marketing buddies, and they have agreed to do some private closed door sessions um, for my VIP uh, guests. Uh, so of course, my all my members of my mastermind group there are going to be there. A few of my rock, 100K rock stars are going to be there. Um, and uh, so I, I have a four day event. But outside of the normal event schedule for the four days, I'm going to be having some closed door events, uh, a VIP with like red carpet, uh, closed door private access. Anybody that goes to the website that I'm about to give you right now and um, takes advantage and invests in themselves to attend my event, I'm going to give you a special offer. The, the website for the special offer is this, www. www.specialwebinarlink.com. And if you want to pay with PayPal, it's www.specialpaypallink.com. www.specialwebinarlink.com. And if you'd like to pay, invest with PayPal, www.specialpaypallink.com. So this offer that I'm about to tell you about is only good until 3 a.m. Uh, specific time, um, 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time. So, no, no, no. I said that wrong. No, I'll make it. I'll make it three three a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it'll be three three a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So twelve eleven twelve. So you had four hours. So you have four hours to go to the specialwebinarlink.com and or special payment paypallink.com. And my event is twenty nine ninety seven. And I, I had one early, early bird discount price, which is gone now. So if you missed that and you wanted to invest in it and you did and you missed that, it was it was nine ninety seven. Um, if you missed that, it's gone. Um, now we we had the early bird price at of fourteen ninety seven, and like I said, this event is not like any other event. Uh, every seat is is you know the ticket price. So like I said, when I was when it was when we were at the early early bird discount. It was nine ninety seven. It was nine ninety seven for guests, and like I said, every ticket was sold for nine ninety seven. Uh, nine ninety seven early early bird discounts gone now. We're now at fourteen ninety seven early bird discount. 
Uh, that will be gone soon also, and uh, then we'll go up to 1997, and then move our way up to 2997. Like I said, it's a $3,000 event. I'm just giving you, I'm trying to make sure that everybody, I'm giving payment plans, I'm giving payment options, I'm giving early bird discounts, I'm giving early, early bird discounts. But here, everyone that's on the webinar right now, in the next four hours, if you go um, to the specialwebinarlink.com or specialpaypallink.com, you'll be able to take advantage of my upcoming event, which is October 25th through October 28th in Washington, D.C. for $14.97. One, two, uh, you'll also be able to write then and there if you if you like to bring a guest, you have a husband, a wife, a business partner, uh, somebody is a friend that you want to bring with you. Um, I'll give you a special discount of only six ninety seven for uh, the guest, but you have to do it through this link. If you go through any of the other links and you pay fourteen ninety seven, if you want to add on any guest, it's fourteen ninety seven. Please do not call my office. Please do not send any emails. Please do not call Eileen begging her to give you the six ninety seven guest price um, later on down the road. This is only for tonight. Uh, it's my special token. I always give a special token for everyone that's on my, on my webinars. You hung out with us, what, almost three hours here. Uh, we start off with 241 people. We're down to 184 people. Um, you can go to that link. If you need any help, if you need any assistance at all, feel free to text Eileen also. Um, we're on Eastern Standard Time. Her tell personal number, once again, as you see, it's 816-698-6245. Um, but you go to the specialwebinarlink.com and go to the specialpaypallink.com. I'm going to make this available for four hours. And like I said, I always do this. The first 10 people that go there, take a, take snatch up their, invest in their spot, I'm going to give you an all-access pass, behind the scenes, all-access pass to all my VIP sessions and um, my, my um, private VIP sessions with my millionaire buddies and when we have our private closed-door sessions. So uh, that's it. Um, please post what you thought about the webinar on my Facebook fan page. I'm going to, I guess, respond to my wife's page or see if I can get back online. Um, but I, I thank, I thank you for hanging out with me all night tonight. Um, I'm telling you right now, if you're getting any value from being in the group, if you're getting any value from being on any of the webinars, if you're getting any value from anything that we're doing, I'm going to absolutely blow you away on October 25th. Through 28th, because I promise you this. If I, I look at the page on, my, on on this page here, the Internet Marketing Blueprint event, I have a, a money back guarantee. This is not a game. I'm very transparent. I opened up the CRM, showed you, showed you, showed you the money. Um, if you want to get this type of money, if you want to get set up in what I call the perfect business, I highly recommend that you do whatever it takes to get to my event. I am not having another event. I'm not scheduling another event. This is it. If you have a vacation, I'm telling you, skip it. Uh, argue with your husband, argue with your wife, do whatever you got to do, but do not miss this event if you're at all serious about getting involved in internet marketing and uh, information marketing. So with that being said, please share with me on the Facebook page what you thought of the event, and I look forward to seeing you guys later. Uh oh, I'm about to get back in the Facebook business, I think. If you have any questions that you want to ask inside the um, Facebook page, I'm back online so I can answer some questions. I'll be here. I'm just chilling right now in my ICR battle room. Eileen's uh, phones are blowing up, so if you call her and you get a busy signal or it goes a voicemail, just leave a message. Uh, she'll get back to you. If for some reason the voicemail gets full, just try to call back. She's on the phone with people right now. If you already signed up, make sure you go to my private internet group for the people that are already registered. Is the internet marketing um, 
Internet Marketing Blueprint Event Facebook group. The Internet Marketing Blueprint Event Facebook group. And Eileen's 100% responsible for letting people in there. So uh, you can friend her, talk to her. If once you pay and you're paid, she'll let you in. If you're not paid, you're not getting into that group. That's a private group where we're talking about stuff at a little, a little higher level and a little more interaction. Thank you, Lawanda. Glad you liked it. Remember, Eileen is your personal concierge. Anything you need, anything you want, anything you hope, desire, dreams regard, regarding information marketing for this upcoming event, October 25th, 28th, she's your gal. You want to get more information? And remember, if you call Eileen, you're calling Eileen to get information to register. If you want information on the event, you have to go to the Internet Marketing Blueprint event. Please do not call her asking about detail. Everything about the event is on the page. If you if you want to register, if you want to register multiple partners, if you want to register multiple people and you have and you need help from her, that's what she's for. I cannot bog her down with, you know, regular generic questions. Everything is up on the website. If if for any reason your questions are not answered on what's on the website, please let me know and I'll make sure I get it put up. You can also ask questions within it, inside this Facebook group. If you already register for my event, make sure you follow, uh, ask to join the Internet Marketing Blueprint Event Group. The Internet Marketing Blueprint Event Group. Yes. I was just informed by Lenny that I messed up the um the other the other link was uh was not for PayPal. It was a pay plan. Hold on a sec. That's a real bad goof up. That special pay plan link. So if you want to do a payment plan, uh, you can do that. So www.specialpaymentplan. Pay plan. And Lenny will post inside the group also the different links and so forth. I'll post these here. Remember tonight when you purchase your your um, event seat, you'll be able to add a guest for six ninety seven, and you'll be invited to some of my VIP private closed door sessions.
and you may be late if you come in and I see a few people coming in still, we just end it. But if you came in late, we did our entire webinar inside of Facebook. Uh, just search for me, Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. That's Lloyd Irvin Internet Marketing for Newbies. Greg, I'm not clear on what you said here. Is the event above and beyond martial arts? That's my group. Greg Nelson, what do you mean here, uh, Lord? I want, to, I want to make sure I'm clear before, before I answer it. If you have any questions for me, you can ask them in the Facebook group. I'll try to get to them. Yeah, payment plan is at... I just posted um, a special payment plan. So if you want a payment plan for the uh, offer tonight, go to www.specialpayplanlink.com. Special pay plan link. I just did it tonight. I just put it up there for you. Thank you, Tabitha. Tabitha said the webinar tonight was awesome.
I just need to confirm this before we see confirmation. But um, because you want to add the version that it might be different. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll either give you a call back or email you. Where's the page for all that? The third point, the, 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 the um, other hotel hotels. <laughs> Yeah, question for me. Go ahead and post them here. Whoa! Wait a minute. Are you sure you want to leave so soon and give up a chance to save two thousand dollars on this event? Or maybe you just want to get the free internet marketing DVD. How about these exclusive bonuses? Gary, I'm going to see for sure um, if I can get a copy of this. I'm not great at this stuff. So I'm not sure if I ever recorded correctly, but if it did, I'll post it up. We start a simple ebook to sell um, as it is. Do you recommend creating more items to upsell or downsell, or is the ebook alone can be good? Um, ebook can do good by itself, but having upsells will definitely make you more money. Thank you. You're welcome, Johnny. I'm glad you liked it. I'll just say if people have got the early uh, price, are we in the closed door events already? Yeah, you're going to be grandfathered into some of the some of the closed door events. Howard, you asked about books. Howard, have you gotten my free DVD yet? Have you been through that? Tanya Lomax, great event. Can't wait for the next event. Can't wait for the event. I'm glad. Thanks for kind of joining me tonight. George, I'm glad you have an open mind. It's a good, good place to be. I'm glad you like it, Jeff. You're welcome, David. Jason Self is a man. Thanks, Ricardo. Congratulated, Paul. Yeah, congrats, congrats to David for 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 sure. 
Anthony's an old school grappler, old school. Yeah, Kamara, I will, uh, I'm gonna blow your mind for sure, you'll see. Carolyn says, great information, wish I could be at the event. Why can't you be at the event? That's what I'm here for, Greg. I'm here to take it out, baby. I'm here to take it out. <coughs> You're welcome, Sean. Chris Belly hanging in there. I know Chris is trying to do something. Eric Connor here, eye opening. I'm glad I could do it. David is is Elephant Elephant Plaza. The Font Plaza Hotel. Um, it's on the sales letter. Welcome, Dave. No, no, that's that's a, no, that's okay. But the, uh, no, it's okay. No, I'm just letting you know that Andrews know. And Andrews know what he said. You know what he has in place for the time. Like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, just no problem. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, but we. Yeah, your bargain. Your, your, your. If you have any questions, I'm here. Just hanging out in my ICR. Any question about my upcoming event? Any question at all? Post it here. If you want to register, you need to help register, and you want to mo register multiple people, give Eileen a call at 816 698 6245. Hi, this is Eileen with 
Adam, I'm glad that you liked the webinar. I'm glad that it got you more excited for the upcoming October event. Thanks for registering. I'll, I'll definitely see you in October. Um, your order number is 7702, and you should be receiving, um, yeah, and you should be receiving. And you should be receiving a confirmation email this week in your inbox. Okay, great. Okay, thank you, Siobhan. Have a great day. Thank you, Anine. Glad you liked it. Glad, glad I put out some more concrete. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Greg just said, I will say it to anyone out there that is not sure, do it. I can tell you that every other event that I have attended has made signing up for the next event a no-brainer. I was almost going to sign up for this event again, forgetting that I had already signed up at another event. How That's how automatic it is now. Sign up, go, 
row repeat. Uh, thank you very much, Greg. Greg, for those that don't know, uh, Greg's a, a legend in the martial arts community, and uh, those words are, you know, really mean a lot. Um, it's the internet marketing Take care, David. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, do you know how many rooms are available as of now? Lloyd, stop moving so much around the door right now, okay? Mm -hmm. If you have any more questions, let me know. What is the system like? Oh, I guess that's a is it is it true classic or it's shell system? Yeah, I'm still getting the text of it. I'm still struggling with it. Yeah, so there's so there's just a like, input over. Ah, yeah. She uh, asked if her so if I just want to know if this one's like A or just like the same name. It's the same name. Yeah, she has that same like, name in it. She was like, but can you have them October? And I was like, no. This is crazy. You might work it out. <laughs> Mom, this is by. <laughs> she turns into a yeah. block number. This is not the new one. <laughs> yeah, Maybe left, left a voicemail. Yeah. We'll try about two more seconds of that. Well, do you know that Amy ever does full counting? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, And she left a voicemail. She's crazy. She already spoke in that way. She's not talking to her. She's just being her. She invited you guys on the phone. I think you guys.
And I had one person who they already um, their friend I guess or friend 